bros, Scotty Mo. It's about time to lose your shit. Everybody's progress clips for that legend, Kevin Smith. Welcome to Spot Guest. I'm Kevin Smith. Scott Mosey. How are you, sir? Good. How are you? I'm good. I'm ready to fucking chit chat. And I'm ready to chit chat. Well, before we jump into the meat of it, what have you been up to? Uh, I've been uh, working on the Disney show. Which, how's some, that going? It's going good. Mm-hmm. And then uh, <clears throat> also I've been doing getting ready. I'm actually leaving from here to go. I was like, Earth? Yeah. I mean, you're like, I'm going to Witch Mountain. <laughs> Me and my to- my brother Tony, my half-brother, we're witches. <laughs> like, I had no idea. Can I go to Witch Mountain? Can I be any Who's Albert? Tony? <laughs> Who's this Tony? He's I, my he's my brother. He's my brother. Witch boyfriend. <laughs> I'm like, oh. <laughs> That's what this is. <laughs> he's from the Philippines. <laughs> it's like, Scott's, Scott's gay. I keep forgetting. He just always has to come up with that Witch Mountain <laughs> excuse for sucking a dick. <laughs> <laughs> We're Not trying to bring the moon magic. people back. I have a magic purse, you know. Like it's official. He's gay. <laughs> Did you see? You remember Witch Mountain from childhood to some degree. I'm not saying. Yeah, like, yeah. Can you repeat it verbatim? <laughs> yeah. They remade it recently with yeah. The Rock. Yeah. And The Rock played essentially the Eddie Albert part, the fucking stranger who finds them. Like and Eddie Albert them. was driving a big Winnebago. Yeah, yeah. And picked up those kids, which is just like, can you imagine Disney made a movie about that? Yeah, like, hey, yeah. kids. Anytime a Winnebago with a strange man comes along, get inside. You're going to have an adventure. Yeah, it's Eddie Albert. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine? It's like the adventure you have is just like bend over that bed. Why? <laughs> <laughs> but we're witches. <laughs> Welcome to Bitch Mountain. <laughs> <laughs> Escape from Bitch Mountain. <laughs> On Bitch Mountain, they just had sex with us in, an, in, a, in a fucking in a camper. And it was horrible. And I think it was a dude from Green Acres. <laughs> I'm not sure. I think the pig was there too. He kept singing the song. <laughs> he kept saying fresh air. <laughs> I kept screaming Times Square. <laughs> In fact, it's the only thing that kept him from fucking me. It was a grown man, but that seemed to throw him. And then me and Tony ran away, <laughs> used our magic purse, called Aunt Peru. What were the, I forget the names of the people that they were. The people that were pursuing them? Well, in the second, well, I believe. they're aliens. Was, they were. That's nothing and that's, to do with witches. I know. It really captured my imagination as a kid, but you think maybe back then. I mean, I'm sure it was based on a book or something, but do you think back then they're like, they couldn't do like escape to Martian Mountain because people would be like, that's gay. Martians right. are gay. But they were like, all right, how about escape to Witch Mountain? They're like, witches? Witches are badass. Do you think that's how, because how, why do you go from aliens to witches? How do you? Maybe they're just trying to double dip. Th- those flicks were. And there was a talking cat, wasn't there? No, I mean, you're thinking of that Sabrina show. There was a cat, but I don't think the cat talked. Did the cat talk? You're thinking of the cat from outer space, which was another Disney movie. <laughs> in that show. I think one of them had a cat. I think he had a cat in his motorhome. That's how oh, he yeah, lured yeah. the children in. He's like, would you like to? Who likes kitty cats? Yeah, who likes cats? And he gets inside <laughs> and he's like, it's all about pussy now. I'm like, ah! <laughs> Thank God we're witches. They burned his dick off with a hex. <laughs> he's like, ah, I'm dickless. <laughs> this is backfire. <laughs> <laughs> they fuse the cat to his crotch and shit. There's your dick now. And did you get for trying to fuck the children of Witch Mountain? <laughs> it's like, wait, am I the bad guy or the yeah. good guy? <laughs> Why am I terrified? <laughs> <laughs> um, speaking of witches, dude, uh, did you see Potter? Everyone's oh, yeah. been asking for us to talk about Potter. Yeah, Have yeah. you seen it? Yeah. Are you fresh with it? I I'm saw it a couple weeks ago, it, yeah. but I'll probably be able to. The more we talk about it, the more I'll remember. I'm pretty fresh with it. I actually, cause we, uh, cause it's part one of two. Mm-hmm. And, uh, I mean, I've read the books and I, I recollect you have them read pretty everything. well. Yeah, I've read them all. But we, uh, cause we're <clears throat> in a, I'm leaving here not to go to space <laughs> 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 or to Witch Mountain, <coughs> but I'm driving north for the holiday and it's like, right. you know, it's like a 24 hour drive. So <coughs> I actually got the audio book of Deathly Hollows to listen to on the way up. <laughs> Why when the movie's out? Um, uh, because it's twenty one hours of stuff, and the books are like, like and I don't want to talk to my wife. All right, I want to hear Jim I Dale's talk to voice. Harry Potter. <laughs> Is it the Jim Dale reading? Yeah. <clears throat> you, my friend, are in for a fucking sonic treat. That dude reads a book like uh, you would imagine a porn chick gives a blowjob, just better than most. Where you're like, wow, that's exceptional. She's like, well, I am a porn actress. And you're like, yeah, you are. Same thing for that guy. 
and be like, wow, that's an exceptional reading. And he puts on character voices and shit. Like he's like, you know, and then Hermione said, Harry, we have to go to the well. And you're like, wow, he's doing a chick's voice. And then he'll come in as Ron. And go, Harry, we have to go to the well. <laughs> yeah, they're like, uh, hey, Jim. Uh, cut. <laughs> what? <laughs> What's that? What, what then? Uh, Mr. Dale? Yes. I don't know how, to, how else to explain it, but your woman sounds like a zombie. She- <laughs> a screeching, dying zombie. She's in puberty. Oh, is that what it is? That's what me daughter sounds like. Okay, hold on one sec. Can we fix this? Harry, we got go to the well. What are you <laughs> shitting me? How am I supposed to fix that? He's literally doing that He's like a filter <laughs> voice, you know? He ain't a master. My cousin could do this, man. He lost his voice to smoking. <laughs> I don't think this is Jim Dale. <laughs> Who? Uh, Mr. <laughs> They're like, it's not him. Seal the room. Fucking doors come down and shit. <laughs> we got him. We got that son of a bitch finally. The one who's been running around London pretending he's Jim Dale in every recording studio. Um. Yeah, listening to it is going to be hot, dude. Yeah, I'm excited. He's a fucking master storyteller. And again, he, you know, I'm making fun of it, but he puts on the voices and it helps. <laughs> it's, it's not like that. <laughs> it's, honestly, it's not much better, to be honest. He's, I mean, he could pull off the dudes. Yeah. But like when it comes to the chick, he just brings it up here. I just go Harry. up to. I swear to you, I'm that's how you're going to be listening to it and she's going to say, Harry. And you're going to be like, holy shit. Kevin said he would say it like that. <laughs> this was did. prophesied. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Um, he's, uh, he is entertaining as fuck, man. But why would you listen to it? You just saw the first half of the movie. You want to spoil the second half? And you have read the book. I've read the book. So it's, so it's more spoiled. like a refresher. Yeah. Um, we were just like, I mean, it's a long drive. It's yes. like 24 hours. Or really? Yeah, yeah. So you're going to sit through all that fucking wood sitting again? That was my biggest issue with this movie. Because they weren't inside? They were constantly <laughs> outside, Scott. I'm like, they're going to get killed out this. here. <laughs> yeah. What is it? Don't they understand? They're open to the elements. They just, they spent, a long time sitting in the woods without much going on. That's yeah. what I was kind of like. What's something's about that? They spent so much time in the woods that I'm like, well, any minute, man, fucking some sort of magical griffin or a fucking <laughs> snake with a dick is gonna pop out and fucking terrify everybody. Cause they wouldn't make us sit in the woods this long. And they did. And like nothing really happened. They sat in the woods. <clears throat> There's one point where people could have seen them. But she had a spell. <clears throat> yeah, they were like, they cast spells so no one could see. A lot the guy of wood smell. Sitting. And opened up with Forgeticus. Yes. Which they Obliviate. called Obliviate. And I was sitting there in the audience, <laughs> bullshit! You just don't want to pay me, JK! <laughs> People are like, what's that? Insane. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry if I ruined your movie going experience, everybody, by yelling at J.K. Rowling, who's not even here. Well, just allow me to fucking make you forget it. Forget it, guess. Right, everybody? Like, what are you talking about? He assumes everybody listens to his show and knows <laughs> Including that. Including J.K. Rowling. <laughs> that existed. Those books existed long before we started talking yeah, yeah, about them. Yeah. So Obliviate existed. Um, but that was weird, watching that opening sequence where she like, she wipes races. her parents and shit. And she made it, I guess there's in, in Potter world, you can't reverse it. Yeah. Because the way she played it was just like. My parents will never know. I yeah. Like again. she took herself out of pictures and shit like that. Yeah, it was yeah, pretty yeah. sad. You were just like, what the hell? Don't do this. Why are you doing this? <laughs> Why are you doing this? And she's like, I can't. And I was like, that's Jim Dale. I can't. I need to get rid of it. She, that's clearly she, a boy. She starts performing. <laughs> that's Jim, like Dale. Jim Dale. It's like, Hermione. Why is she doing Jim Dale? She's like, I People love Jim Dale. <laughs> she's like, he defined the role. I'm like, you Not define me. the role. She's like, no. Jim Dale, he defined the role sonically. He redefined the role. <laughs> um. Yeah, man, that was kind of, that, that was a bummer watching that happen and going like, oh, she's probably not going back. And you've read all the books. Jump ahead. They never say like, P.S. Her parents got their memories back and muggles and half bloods lived as friends. <laughs> Isn't a muggle and a half blood the same? Yeah, you're right. Muggles yeah, no, and half blood is half blood. Well, a muggle is a non magical person. Half blood is a magician or wizard rather. And a, who comes uh, from a muggle. Yeah, who, well, a wizard, a wizard and a muggle laid down and created the fucking <laughs> half breed. <laughs> She's a half breed. 
No, she's a mud blood. She's a mud blood. She's which a, is a half breed. Yeah. She's not all magic. She's all part human or whatever, part person. <laughs> what do they call people that are not wizards? Muggles. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> she's part muggle. Yeah. Harry's literally the orphan who was locked in the fucking closet. And he's got a sunny disposition. He's always like, what can we do to help? How can we stop all the more? I'd like to make things better. <laughs> I don't, it's not exactly like that. He's pretty close to it, though. Like, it's, if I was him, I'd be like, they're like, we need you. You're the only one that could stop Voldemort. You're the like, chosen one. Where the fuck was everybody when I was living under the stairs? I had a relative put me under the stairs. And if you're a wizard, why didn't you save me? They do. They do get into that. What do you mean? At some point in the movies or the books, it's he gets, like, he turns on him. He's just like, why well, didn't you do anything? When he ends up at Sirius Black's mm-hmm. in the later books, there, I, I think I recall a moment where basically, you no, know, there's a moment where he's just like, well, like, why did, I, I'm pretty <coughs> sure like with, with Dumbledore, it's like, why did you, why did you put me there? What did he say? There was something, there was a reason behind it. Which I'm not going to recall perfectly, but there's a reason why they brought him to Dursley. Because which, they'd never find him there? Yeah, which is there's like they could not. They're like, why find would him. they ever look for somebody amongst people who probably treat him like shit, let him make him live under the stairs? He was also protected there. Like there was a, there was, there was a reason why he was, he was protected. Like there was a, there was a purpose that she brings up in the book for his own protection. He was placed there. Rent stabilized community is what you mean? <laughs> exactly. Like the rents were <laughs> even. <laughs> you never have to worry up, about, you know. only go up 2% a year. <laughs> it's, it's not bad. It's not bad, Harry. <laughs> I got the... gold ducats in a bank, man. I don't want to live here. <laughs> <laughs> He's like an East Ender. <laughs> yeah. I want to wash your footy. <laughs> Put you under the state. What was the uncle's name? Uh, I don't remember. Dur- uh, fucking it's not Dursley. Well, it's Dursley. It's something like, Dursley. Yeah, okay. Hey, Uncle Dursley. <laughs> yeah. be like me calling somebody like, like, calling like you Uncle Mosher or something like that. That was his last name. God, what was this? I don't remember him like, they never were constantly like going Uncle Ted or whatever. No, they should have. Every fucking sentence in that, every chapter, every paragraph in that book. Should have had a callback to his terrible treatment as a child, like as Harry soared on the back, you know, of the mighty fucking Buckbeak, soaring above all a champion. He remembered being forced <laughs> under the stairs by his uncle. Yeah, by his uncle. Oh, <laughs> Just constantly coming back. He can't escape it, man. That's a horrible fucking thing. Yeah, yeah. Like there was really one, one nice, beautiful moment I thought in the movie where he comes to their house where he's like, get the fuck out. He's packing them up in the cars and shit. Yeah. And they're like, where are we? Dudley's like, where are we go? He's like, shut up, get in the car. Shut up, get in the car. Yeah. And then they leave, and he was, Harry was at the house, and he looked under the stairs at that little fucking shithole he used to live yeah. in. Yeah. And had that look of like, man. Look where one. I came from. Yeah. Six, in six years, I went from being under a staircase to looking <laughs> into at the staircase. <laughs> I'm outside now. Yeah. <laughs> I Look got, at me. I yeah. couldn't even fit in there. <laughs> Could you imagine, Brilliant. man? It's just, they were, and that was right off the living room. So he had to listen to them, like, watch TV. Yeah, remember the kid? Probably talk about him. The kid sure. would walk, the older, the, the big kid. Dudley. He would jump on the stairs. To, oh, so he had to make it fucking. Them. Yeah. How many presents are there? It's on the first one. It's like his birthday. He's like, how many presents are there? And they're like, 30, 37. He goes, last year there was 38. <laughs> <laughs> And Harry's just and like, the uncle's just like, well, some of them are considerably larger this year. <laughs> <laughs> <All> backpedaling. <laughs> totally. Like, hey, man. Hey, hey, hey. They were so well, afraid of that kid. They as were. As if he was the wizard. <laughs> He's <laughs> moldable. He, Don't he say was, his name. <laughs> he was fat enough to be a wizard. Like, he had the whole fucking, like, I'm full of magic. But they treated this kid like that. Well, they had him with egg. Egg sh- they, like they walked on eggshells, handled him with kid gloves, like he was the the fucking psychotic little kid from the yeah, Twilight yeah. Zone movie who could make cartoons <laughs> come to life. Oh, Dudley, we're sorry. Here's more presents. As opposed to like the fucking mad, the highest magus on the planet, yeah, yeah. Who's literally living under the stairs, and at any moment could have been like, "You fuck, I'm gonna put your headus explodus." <laughs> yeah, fucking headus on her cuntus, and suddenly his head's popping out of her pussy and shit. And he's like, "Forevermore, when you pee, you'll pee on his face." And they're like, "Whoa!" Like, wow, we should have given him a bedroom. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 
is this what you've been doing on the stairs? He's like, I've been plotting the most fucked up revenge, man. I'm going to put your dick on Dudley's forehead. <laughs> Fucking the double door shows up. He's like, "Oh, Harry." <laughs> yeah, it's like oh, we came a little bit too late, Hagrid. Apparently, he's already progressed to madness. He's putting wieners on foreheads. I can't. I could say it's 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 a laugh, but it's wrong. <laughs> yeah, don't do this. <laughs> All right. How does this movie begin? Besides Forgeticus, then the credits happen. Then they're in the woods for two hours. Obliviate. Yeah, they. He sends the Dursleys. Trademark. <laughs> yeah. That's my guest. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, um, and then he sends the Dursleys away. And they then, didn't really show a Ron moment where he was like, he was just in the field. Yeah. No, no, no. At the beginning, they all show up at the Dursleys and basically they're going to transport Harry. After the credit sequence. Though. Yeah. And then there's Polyjuice, Boosh, and, and then they all become Harry's. Like a bunch of people become. That's right. It opens with fucking fake like Harry's. a team of Harry yeah. uh, Harry Potters. And, mm-hmm. and then they all take off. And they make them all look like Harry. So they're all decoys because the Death Eaters, um, they and want the Dementors are out looking for Harry. Yeah, yeah. And Voldemort is just like, uh, don't, I want him, but don't kill him. He's mine. Yeah. What, which is like, aren't you just like, look, I know this kid. Anybody. Yeah. Like just, if you get a shot, <clears throat> hit this Take. fucker. Yeah. Just don't aim at that dopey fucking lightning bolt. And I said, that was my problem. <laughs> yeah. I, <laughs> I you know, went for I, the I, obvious <laughs> target. It was like Batman's yellow symbol on his chest. But what we didn't know is there's a bulletproof plate under that fucking chest. Well, he created the mark. It wasn't there. They're when like, he was hey, born. Man, you created the mark. He's like, no, no, no. It's like, all right, all right. <laughs> Are you sure? Logic, is you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was there. Are you questioning me? He's yeah, hey, boy. man, I'm he who should not be questioned and shit. <laughs> <laughs> is he? Is he <laughs> I'm pretty sure he created the Just score. What was that? <laughs> <laughs> nothing, nothing. <laughs> Yo, evil dude. What do I say about whispering? <laughs> <laughs> Hugh what Grant. did I say? <laughs> and Hugh Grant is Voldemort. <laughs> the adorable, lovable, slap happy Lord of Evil. Harry Potter. I didn't realize I was putting everybody out with my plans. I'm so sorry, so sorry, so sorry, everybody. It ends in the first 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> there's so he's much too time polite. <laughs> <laughs> he's way too polite there's so much time harry's like fuck it i'll become evil <laughs> yeah, yeah, somebody got and now great some it's drama. up to you grant to stop harry potter he's like, i don't think these were what the books was about <laughs> but i need the money <laughs> am, I, am i literally meant to be a character in this <laughs> That's you. That's you. <laughs> as myself. As you. Are you going to reference the movies? Oh, very well then. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> so they, uh, so they go out. They all look like Harry. They're flying around. Yeah, yeah. And motherfuckers just are like, ah! And Death Theaters immediately. Come on. They're on them and shit. That's a pretty cool sequence. Very, yeah. very cool look. And they've come a long way. If you go back and look at the first one. When they're playing Qu- Quidditch. Yeah, yeah. Holy shit, man. It's like, yeah. I could do a better version on my laptop now. Now, granted, it was like almost 10 years ago yeah, or yeah. more. But you look at the flying shit they did in this movie. It's just like, oh, man, like that, that can happen. Brooms work. You I- leave a theater after seeing this sequence, go to the top of your house with a broom between your legs and jump off going like, it's going to work. Come on, Jen. Yeah. <laughs> ah! <laughs> You're going to die, depending on how high your house is. Or just look stupid, but it's, it's believable. Or both. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or like he died and fucked it. He looked stupid. The expression he had on his face when he realized the broom wasn't going to fly. Priceless. <laughs> Granted, it was followed by the grim expression of somebody who's all the energy has left their brain. He's dead. <laughs> I realized he that. He died before he hit the ground. He had a heart attack. You know, they say when you jump off His a building. Heart exploded. Yeah, you have a heart attack. They just say that, you know, to make you feel better. But he didn't. He lived until the last <laughs> possible second. Hit, seemed like he was in a lot of pain, died by inches. It was the most horrible thing I ever he saw. He started weeping. <laughs> Why did I do this? Why did I ever believe a flying on brooms was possible? <laughs> to the point where we wanted him. We kind of were, we just wanted him to die. He was cursing Hugh Grant for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> so, so they, they all- tag somebody who's a Harry. One of them gets killed. Oh, yeah, yeah. Fake Spoilers. Harry. Yeah. Spoilers. Yeah. Just assume. 
that that we're going to talk about from here on in. Thing. Yeah, they don't actually kill uh, Mendingus. One of the guys disguises Harry bolts, and then Mad Eye Moody dies. Wait, but they never showed it. They in don't the movie. show it. Did they do it in the book? It's fucked up. Really? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> You're like, oh, here's the dirt. Yeah. They rip off his head and put it in his own anus. They, t- <laughs> they took one of his balls <laughs> and shoved it into his mad eye. <laughs> like, come on, testy face. <laughs> He's like, I can't say anything. <laughs> I'm looking through a testicle. <laughs> I mean, this is this is shitty, but <laughs> this is really evil. Now get out of here. Like, what? You just gonna let me live? Like, yeah, yeah. You can yeah. Get now out. you're the man who lived. <laughs> 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 like that's not bad. I wouldn't like. I wouldn't mind being known as the man who lived. They're like, wait until he gets out of the world and finds out people see calling him Nut Eye, <laughs> Nut Eye Moody. <laughs> people just laugh at him. <laughs> yeah, he's like, we gotta stop Baltimore. They're like, you have a ball in your eye? Is that one of your nuts? <laughs> Is that a patch of skin? Is that hair sticking out? Is there hair in your eyeball? It's not an eye. It's a testicle. Is there balls in your face? What happened to you? <laughs> I'm sorry. I know it's a lot of questions, but before it was fucked up when you were wearing a fake eye that was always looking around and shit. But I got to be honest with you, Mad Eye. This is... <laughs> this is disturbing. Huh? <laughs> I really can't take you seriously. <laughs> He's a wizard, man. Why couldn't he just fucking put an eye back in his head? Like, regenerate a new eye? Yeah. And well, one that did the a... same shit that his magical fucking oh. shifty eye did. I don't know. Like, use your magic to make yourself a little more aesthetically easy on the rest of us, buddy. <laughs> you're a frightening man. <laughs> I know you work on the side of angels, but you're frightening. Uh, he gets killed. In the book, did he get killed on camera? Or on page? Uh, I don't remember. Or was it they showed up someplace and they're like, Mad Eye's dead? If I, so, what a puss ending. I think it's, mm, I think it's close. I don't think that you, because I think that narratively speaking, they, you know, you're sticking with the main character. Right. So I think it's the same way in the book where it's like, they don't just suddenly cut away to Mad Eye going like, where are you going? Oh, yeah. what's that? <laughs> Bam. <laughs> A quick chapter. <laughs> what's that? <laughs> Mad Eye exclaims, what's that? Wow. So he went down. He was, that's right. He fucking went missing. He dies. And then one of the twins, remember his ear almost gets shorn off. And yeah. Then, and they were magically healing it and shit. And then Didn't turn uh, out too bad for him. I don't know if it does magically heal because it's like some, later in the show. Sometimes he's just one it's ear. like sometimes when you get, you know, hit by magic, it's like, I don't know. But I'm, I might be well, especially it if it's now. that bad magic, whatever yeah, it is, evil magic, ear magic. Vold- yeah, when, uh, that's the worst of them. <laughs> He's like, I, I give you, I Voldemort give you full permission to use the most evil of magics. They're like, no, Lord Voldemort, not the ear magic. Yes, burn all their this fucking figure- ears. <laughs> this figurement curse. <laughs> Take an ear off one of each. And Cauliflower watch- ear. <laughs> Like the wrestlers have. Let us create magically asymmetrical heads. Like that's your plan? Wow. <laughs> so it used to be way better. <laughs> is this When you were divided up in all those horcruxes, this is all you could come yeah. up with? Which one did you leave your brain in? Think about it. If you take someone's ear. <laughs> Don't try to sell me, man. No, no, just think about it for a minute. <laughs> but at first, me. it doesn't seem that evil. <laughs> it's a long term. <laughs> This is what you call long tail. I would be thinking about it on the internet. Death by humiliation. <laughs> Shame comes first. <laughs> then you have to tell people from your past. You people from, from high school who are like, what's happened to your ear? And you have to tell them the story. It's painful. Death by it is your soul dies slowly. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> I don't think this is Voldemort. <laughs> yeah. Voldemort? No, my name is Cousin Mort. <laughs> oh, that makes sense. Evil Mort. <laughs> <laughs> He's the littlest Voldemort. The littlest riddle, baby riddle. And unlike like everyone else. <laughs> yes. He came along later on and shit where his brother had chosen his evil path and he was, I want to be like my brother. And so he'd be. He so when ch- Voldemort leaves, he's like, and uh, little Mort's in charge. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, no. Fuck. He's like. I'm leaving. I'm going on a campaign to kill Harry Potter yet again. That way I'll be magical and what muggles and all this bullshit. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. <laughs> Am I a judge, brother? Like, oh, shit. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, yeah, uh, everybody, Cousin Mort's in charge. <laughs> yes, everyone subject themselves to ear disfiguration. <laughs> oh, whoa, 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 hold on. Uh, Mort, please, give me your wand. <laughs> Why? No. <laughs> give me your wand. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the, uh, yeah, man. Uh, his. So then they, they end up at Ron's. <clears throat> um, they're all going to Ron's house. That's the meeting point. Yeah, they the all Weasleys. end up there. <clears throat> they're temporarily safe. And, uh. And there's that metal chick. Not metal. She punk. Yeah, like, yeah. Uh, who's now fucking the wolf man. Yeah, yeah. They're married. They're married. And in fact, they're, uh, I'm pretty sure that this is, I don't think this is in the movie. Although it's suggested in the movie that I think she's pregnant. Yeah, in the movie she suggests she's just she's like, like, we have another secret. Oh, like we got shit coming on here. What yeah. are you talking about? Look, your good news. There's a wizard trying to take all of our ears. <laughs> have you heard about it? <laughs> what but what chance does a baby have in a one-eared world? <laughs> we have to stop this madman. <laughs> right, right. right my bad sword. She looks like she can fuck, man. Like that dude made out. I was looking at that scene when she was like, they she references him as husband or something like that. Yeah. yeah. Fucking. She had a nose ring, Scott. You know she gives head. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, there's, she's just out there. Like, Hermione, you wind up with Hermione, you're going to have to, it, like, come on, please. Like, can you come try on, this? Just yeah, let's just do a little. I'll just put the head in, not the whole thing, please. Like, you have to really work your way in. This chick, though, she looked like she's just like, I've been fucking been around the I'm world. 13, bitch. I'm 26. She's like, been around the world. Nah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I want to take your penis. I, I, I. Um, did they, they sex didn't, magic. did they have a, bu- yeah, some fucking but sex magic. Baby, sex magic. Well, at the end of the last movie, they basically were like, we're not going to go to school. Mm. Fuck school. For They're like, we out. don't need no education. And they were British, so it worked out. Yeah. They don't. <clears throat> so they're going to. Harry realizes they got to go find the whore, the whore cruxes. I was, I was back on page with you. I was like, yeah, finally. Yeah, a movie was like, I thought you said whores on crutches. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like, I thought we were going to have sex with handicapped people, Harry. <laughs> Amputee, man. <laughs> I've been dying for some weird sex, man. <laughs> Come on, man. I want to have stump sex as much as the next guy. Is that what we're doing? <laughs> Come on. Where's one of them oblers? Because <laughs> what you got, Colonel, doesn't sound funny at all. <laughs> yeah, I know. Why would I want to fuck someone with two good legs? I got like, see, other people got a bucket list. I got a fuck it list. <laughs> I got an amputee, a black girl, Asian. <laughs> 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 and the creme de la creme is an albino. <laughs> because as you know, Harry, a female albino is very, very rare. <laughs> it's like the white stag that we were chasing from the wardrobe, Harry. And he's like, that ain't us. That's another fucking gay magic movie. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> right. Sorry. Yeah. I'm not excited. <laughs> I was thinking crossover. <coughs> I saw a play this week uh, at my kid's school, and it was uh, The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. Yeah, now, yeah. I'd seen the cartoon as a kid, but I never watched the new movie. Yeah. Um, what <laughs> what a story this is. <laughs> what a bunch of bullshit. <laughs> Did you cry out? <laughs> I was bullshit. Like, this is fuck. Come on. <laughs> Beavers don't talk. <laughs> no, it's um I mean, you know, it's fine work by C. S. Lewis on a classic, you know, whatever. But there's four kids, dude. Yeah. You know, who like run through the wardrobe. There's Edmund who has something to do. He's the motherfucker that betrays them, yeah, yeah. hangs out with the white queen. Yeah. Then um, you know, redeems himself like Aslan, the lion, spoiler spoilers. He trades his life for Edmund's life. So Edmund has a role. Like at one point, Edmund's like, I want some Turkish delights. And everything goes to hell. I don't care who dies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this motherfucker wants candy like you read about. He's willing to see people die for it, including lions, talking lions. You know how rare it is to find a talking lion? Yeah. Very rare. Edmund, uh, there's the boy, Peter. He does some shit because he fires arrows. He sword fights and he's shit. He's a sword guy. Yeah, and he's the older guy, older brother. He always seems to know what's going on. Lucy is the girl... The young one. Yeah, who she's the first one goes through the fucking wardrobe, wardrobe. finds Mr. Tominus. Yeah. And, uh, 
then and then you know she i will make friends i'll come back with me brothers and sisters and then heads yeah, off yeah. and shit like that she's the conduit into narnia yeah she started and continues playing a role throughout <clears throat> last sister susan does nothing <laughs> <laughs> fucking nothing dude i'm sitting there watching this play going all right what's susan's special role gonna be Nothing. Susan's dead weight. They made her queen too. Like at the end of the fucking show. <laughs> You're all pissed off. <laughs> I was outraged. I'm like, <laughs> not since Leopold the 14th has a liege taken the throne that's done nothing to earn it. <laughs> it was, I was, shh, shh, shh. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's children's theater. I don't care. There I should be them. truth in theater. Art is truth. <laughs> um, what? I couldn't believe it though. I'd never, Thought about it. This chick doesn't do anything. She's, she's literally along for the ride. She's like, uh, she's the one with the bows and arrows. No, I think that's fuck. Really? Yeah, she's got the bow and arrows. Why, she's got the, the quiver. Movie? Yeah. What does she do in the movie? Anything? I mean, you does know, she just, like you know, everybody has their own kind of moment. Does she have a moment where she's like, "I'll seduce the fucking centaur in order for us yeah. to save Narnia"? Yeah, like that won't work. She's like, <laughs> It'll work for me. Yeah, I, I love to blow horses. <laughs> what? <laughs> like, and this, see, out this, of the water. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> she makes her stand. <laughs> oh, not go back. <laughs> this is where I belong. I love to blow horses, but this horse is half man, isn't he? So it's better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They accept me for who I am. <laughs> and I accept their cocks in me mouth. But when I'm done blowing them, I get to kiss a man. How about that then? <laughs> <laughs> I'm staying in Nadia. Like, all right. Uh, there's Susan's Can't argue moment. with that. Yeah. <laughs> Susan's moment was to yeah. just make it real awkward for the rest of us sons of Adam and guess, daughters of Eve. I guess we should make her queen. <laughs> yeah, give her a crown because she's the queen of honesty. Holy shit. Did you ever meet anybody that likes to suck horse dick? Other than a horse? Like, yeah. <laughs> her. Sue. Yeah. It's crazy. That's why she's the, girl the whore Sue. queen of Narnia. They call her. <laughs> Susan the Loose. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was such <laughs> bullshit. I was so irritated. <laughs> oh, Do something. Cook dinner. <laughs> she's got to earn it. <laughs> what kind of example is this for a girl's school? This Susan's got to earn it. Ah, <laughs> just left. I think, you know, in the movies, my memory is like, you know, when they're fighting and shit, it's not like she's sitting idle off to the side. <laughs> I mean, in the play, she was. Oh, I, I'm pretty sure at one point <laughs> she was sitting next to me in the audience. I'm like, Susan, you got to save Narnia. She's Even like, I do more than you. <laughs> she's like, shh, I'm trying to get fired. <laughs> I was like, oh, whoa. <laughs> she's like normally as an arc i just don't feel like doing it <laughs> you know fuck this it's such bullshit i was like right it is there's too much physical shit in this. <laughs> yeah there's no truth in this piece <laughs> <laughs> i'm pretty sure the beavers were talking <laughs> um all right, so back to harry potter which is not narnia that came out though the third one yeah it just came out nobody really the ship Care the boat movie. Sail on the ship. Love boat. <laughs> <laughs> Chronicles of Narnia. <laughs> Colin the love boat. <laughs> um, that uh, love boat. Colin. <laughs> the, yeah. Chronicles Colin. of Narnia. Colin the love boat. Colin. Or Colin. Or fucking Narnia's Colin. <laughs> Johnny through Narnia's colon. That'd be awesome. It's like, come step through the wardrobe. And they get on the other side. Like, what is it? It's awfully squeezy. Get out of the wardrobe. This is a, it's a phone's anus. We're an, we're an entire world's anus. <laughs> Mr. Tumnus was like, oh, oh, God. Punch my prostate on your way through. <laughs> <laughs> What's the prostate then? They're like, look, man. They're like, this is horrible. We're crawling out of a phone's anus. He's like, look, it's either this or war tour in London. <laughs> you can get bombed out there, man. Fucking like shit's going crazy here. It's just a little stinky and tight. <laughs> but you enter a world of magic. 
<laughs> this is all just gay propaganda, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Come through a man's ass into a world of magic. <laughs> I don't know how else to put it. I mean, I can't. C.S. Lewis's last volume of Narnia. Has yeah, gone like, off the rails. <laughs> he wasn't so much Christian as he was gay. <laughs> he was just setting up a big fucking gay porn. He was just dealing with being gay, and he wanted to be gay, so he wrote these books about how awesome it is oh, to be, be gay. Oh, that'd be awesome. Um, he was pretty hardcore Christian. He wrote a book. They keep doing these Narnia pictures, and I'm sure there's merit to them and shit, watching mice fight and crap like that with swords, but he wrote a book called The Screw Tape Letters, Yeah, which is a really fucking fun book, really good book. It's a... The journal of a demon who's been, um, assigned to corrupt a man. Yeah. And so, um, the letters are coming from, I think, uh, his uncle, screw tape. <clears throat> um, or the, he's screw tape himself. I think the uncle is screw tape. And essentially it's a series of letters like my dear worms would, you know, if this guy won't do this, then do this and blah, blah, blah. And the dude's kind of like every time he tries to trip him up and shit. Dude winds up making a moral decision. I'm not really selling it because it sounds like Davy and Goliath, but it, <laughs> it's way fucking better than that. But I'd be a kind of badass. I don't know if they could do it into a flick because it doesn't have like three acts or a plot or anything like yeah, that. Yeah. But, you know, it could make a kind of interesting uh, maybe cartoon, like a short or something like that because it's a very short book. I've, I've, book. I've heard of it. I haven't read it. It's good. It's good. I mean, he was hardcore fucking Christian. Man. He was. He, was man. Way, he loved Jesus. He did. He was a big believer and shit. You think he got to heaven and Jesus was like, I don't like books about witches. He's like, oh, shit. <laughs> they weren't witches, Lord. No, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Those beavers talked. Beavers don't talk. <laughs> so my only problem is a big one. <laughs> Kevin Smith had the same problem. Well, Kevin Smith is a good guy. Yeah, he's going to go up. <laughs> I can't wait till he gets here. <laughs> We're going to have so much to talk about. We're going to fucking rib you. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to dissect C.S. Lewis, Star Wars, uh, Gratsky. It's going to be great. He's going to whistle through my hands. He's going to be my best friend, all right? <laughs> it's, it's like, okay. Fair enough, Lord. Fair enough. Um, okay, back to Potter. What was their whole mission? Well, basically, they were just, they're trying to keep Harry safe. Because he's the chosen one. Harry basically is like, I'm leaving. Because yeah. no one else is going to die for me. I'm leaving. Because if I don't do that, there's no movie. Yeah. I'm or gonna, book. Yeah. Um, Harry stays put. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow she rang 700 pages out of the fucking dude. Um, that, so that he decides to leave. <clears throat> um, at that point, um, <clears throat> Hermione and Ron are just like, hey, man, like we're going to go with you. Don't be a dick. Yeah. That's what we do. We're in this together. Yeah. Like, hey, yeah, we're, we're friends. And then it's always about it. the end of the day yeah, with these three. Friends. They're all friends and shit. And then, um, and then there's the wedding with Ron's brother and which at first, Fleur de, blah, blah, blah. Fleur de Cleur. Yeah. That's who he married. He married the French chick. Yeah. The, really? I didn't even notice that. Ron Fleur de Cleur, brother. who he saved, who Harry saved from the war. Yes. No, Harry saved. Her sister? Her sister. Because her sister was the one in the contest. What was the contest one of Cup? The, the, the goblet of fire. fire. Yeah. They, uh, the, the chick from the lady school, the all girl <laughs> school yeah. and shit. About my, Madame Aubatons or something like yeah, that. Yeah. Um, she, there was a test where they had to go fucking underwater. Gillyweed. Yeah, that's where the gillyweed comes yeah. in. And he's getting some of that gillyweed. <laughs> it's your favorite. Oh, yeah. Gillyweed. I'm waiting for that strain. <laughs> <laughs> Once gillyweed gets here. Gillyweed, uh, they had to, she had to go save her sister was underwater. And she Her, each couldn't the, do it yeah, or something. Each of the students had to go save somebody. Yeah. And Harry had to save Ron. The Ukrainian guy or whatever had to save Hermione. And then the French girl had to save her little sister. And basically, uh, she gets caught by the little creatures or whatever. <clears throat> Those underwater, like, uh, mermaid looking Yeah, things. Harry saves Ron, and then he goes back and saves the little girl. Fleur de Clara's sister. Yeah. And she's like, I am so grateful. I, How did she... Thank you, Harry. Yeah. You are magnifique. <laughs> and she's like, where I'm from, this is okay to do in front of all these people. Oh, look, this. <laughs> <laughs> they go inside his head. At first, Harry found it awkward having his penis out in public, but soon the warm folds of <laughs> the mouth of Fleur de Cleur <laughs> enshrine his massive purple head. <laughs> it's me, no blood of fire. That's the Jim Dale version. <laughs> Jim, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Jim, <laughs> for the last time, nobody blows anybody in this. 
It's a crime. <laughs> There's no truth in this art. <laughs> So wait a second. How did Weasley, the Weasley boy, meet this girl? He, that happened off camera? Yeah. It's Ron's brother, the one that trains dragons. And he was there. Oh, you're right. You're right. The one who's like barely ever in it. The one who's yeah. been away for a while. He's, he was Percy? In, is that it? No. No, Percy's the, the Percy's upside the, one. Yeah, yeah. The fastidious boy. It's uh some other Weasley, and he he's the dragon trainer. <laughs> Not the boy who lived, but the boy who irritated with yeah. his behavior. Yeah, the boy they sent away. <laughs> the bitch boy. Uh, it was the older one who they talked about, like, oh, he's off training fighting he's dragons. Off hungry is he? training dragons. And then he shows up for this. But how do you meet this girl? Because he's in Goblet of Fire because he brings a dragon. So I guess, I don't know, they, they hung out. <laughs> so he's literally like, hey, what do you do? You want to see more dragons? <laughs> yeah, he's like, you know, I bought the dragons. And she's like, I'm literally in the contest. No, she's French. But I'm in the contest. I'm I one of five contestants. Contest. I, I am far more see. famous than you. He's like, well, I brought the dragons. I brought the dragons. You want to see it? Yeah, I'm fire. I'm the, yeah, I'm the dragon rider, baby. I'm the dragon slayer. I'm going to kill it unless you tell me to. And then we got married. So they get married, and uh, at that's the, at the at, at the, in the, the Weasleys, twenty yeah. minutes or something. Yeah, like the that. tent, and then the and that's when the Death Eaters start showing up, and right. that's and Hermione, Ron, and and they Harry. have to jump somewhere. Yeah, they uh, a port uh, it, not a port. What do they call it with a boot? They grab the boot and they jump through. No, they don't. You do that. It's more the the way that you can just jump wherever you want, which the kids aren't allowed to do. It's to, to, um, they're not old enough to do that jump. Yeah. They're supposed to, they're not supposed to even be using magic. Yeah. But it's just, they're like, always getting busted all, for that. All game, all, all bets are off. Once Hitler time. returns and shit, yeah. he's like, I want to kill the boy who lived. Like, yeah, yeah feel free like, to use jump. magic. Yeah. So they jump to, she jumps them to like the middle of London, mm-hmm. like mm. where she's been. That's right. It was kind of badass. You see them like <laughs> walking around yeah. London and shit like, and they look all like, I mean, I, which is weird because like, well, I know the Weasleys live out in the fucking woods. Yeah. But Hermione is a a, a mudblood, so she's she been lives, in London. Yeah, yeah. She's been from I don't know if she's from London, but she knows the area. Because she says like, I remember this place. I went here with a sh- to a show with my parents. Years yeah, yeah. Ago. But Harry has also been in Man's World, for lack of a better description, just under the stairs of it. Man's so world. <laughs> why are they all reacting like, look at the big scam? What like, is it? Yeah, like they come from a place where it's just like sit at that table. Food's magically going to appear. And here they are like, it's a cab. We should kill ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so terrified. I mean, Ron's the only, Ron's the one that's more just like, what's a cappuccino? And like, yeah, Ron's he's... the one that's a little bit more. I mean, they do play that. Um, Ron's like Daryl Hannah and Splash. Yeah. He's like, my name is <laughs> Ronald Wee. <laughs> so then they go to the they go to the diner. <coughs> the two Death Eaters come in. They, have, they whoop their there. ass. They obliviate <coughs> the guy's memory. <coughs> That's right. Because Ron's just like, kill that fucking cunt. Ron wants to do it. Kill that him. right cunt right now. You know, in a, wisely, Ron Weasley. Makes, <laughs> wisely, Weasley makes the call we all would make, which is like, let's dust this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know if anybody's paying attention, but he just tried to kill us. Let's magically separate his head from his body. <laughs> separate it. <'cause- laughs> and then shrink it and flush the head down the toilet. Shrink his flush kiss. <laughs> what do we do with the body? We well, cut his hands off. So they can identify him. It's just like old Dumbledore used to say. Cut their hands off and their heads off. One in the head. <laughs> Always put one in the brain. <laughs> <laughs> Dumbledore never said that to me. <laughs> we had a lot of closed doors meeting. <laughs> we're part of the yeah. Phoenix Club or something like that. Just do what I say. Um, so they they erase his memory so he'll wake up and be like, what am I doing here? Yeah. How this happened? Do I work here? Yeah. Am I a muggle? <laughs> <laughs> what is a muggle? <laughs> um, Could you imagine how you can wipe them back to fucking like, like not Infancy. knowing that, yeah, like they have to poop, poop his pants. <laughs> yeah, that's what a he great puts smell. his hand down his pants. He's like, "What's it? <laughs> oh, blimey! Oh, Jesus. look at his fingers. Like, what? It don't taste good." Yeah, man, you could totally. Well, I don't fucking... even know if you would know English. You would just be like, "Oh, yeah, you would have no language." 
Could you imagine? That's wow, that's cool. devastating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's pretty <laughs> horrible. Like, kill me. <laughs> yeah, you might as well use that hex. Will you separate my head from my neck? Like, no, this is going to be worse. Forget a kiss, shit a kiss. <laughs> <laughs> All you did is they forget to poo. <laughs> and it's the condition of not knowing what shitting is. So when it happens to you, you get scared. You're you think you're dying. <laughs> you're like, I'll kill every. <laughs> oh, I'm having a baby. <laughs> I've had ten. <laughs> and all me pants and they stink. Someone wash the babies. <laughs> he takes them to the sink. I'm trying to wash the baby. They're falling apart in my hands. Me babies. Like this is the cruelest. <laughs> this is worse than that fucking when you could kill the spider with the spell. <laughs> this is for stomachus or whatever. This is the worst. Uh, um. So then they then they they go from there. That's when they jump um, out from to London. The woods. And then the fucking two hours in the woods movie begins. Yeah, where they're basically, well, they have, well, no, 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 no. That's not what happens. They jump from there to Sirius Black's house. Oh, where they see house. the elf again. They see the elf. And then they realize. Dobby, who the house elf, who's a good one. And fucking Surly, <laughs> the bitter well, racist Sur- elf, Surly- is always like fucking muggle. Surly's there. Yeah, they, they're what they. And remember, at this point, their mission is to find the Horcruxes. They know that the the amulet that they have or the necklace is one of them. Is it? But the one they have isn't the real one. And there's that message from RF or RB or something that says, "I have the real one." So they realize that the RB is uh, from. Uh, Sirius is Black's father or brother. Okay. And so they realize that Treacher, Treacher? I Cre- think? Yeah, tr- Creature, tre- Treacher. Tre- Treacher, or something. Or something. Like that. They ask him about it, and he's just like, yeah, um, it was here. He's like, yes, it was here. He doesn't want to answer. They compel him to answer. He has Harry, to. Well, it's like the girl asking me, he's just like, filthy, my blood. You stub it up, your pussy, <laughs> muggle bitch. <laughs> Hey, hey, none of that. (laughs) (laughs) I don't think this is in the book. (laughs) Well, it should be. (laughs) That's compelling, that is. I mean, you're all paying attention now, aren't you? (laughs) Um, Action. Harry Potter received a stunning R rating this week. For one. <laughs> In deference to one horrible line, horribly offensive line. Um, so then he tells them that the guy, um, Ma- Magnus or <coughs> Mandingus. Mandingo. <laughs> He's like, do I have to fuck a black person? <laughs> That's your job. <laughs> <laughs> So then they realize that he can't Let me ask you this, man. You yeah. take that drink or whatever. Polyjuice potion? Poly polyjuice potion where you look like somebody yeah, else? Yeah. You do that and you and you're a guy who looks like a chick. Is it okay to fuck? Do you have a pussy? You do have a pussy. You do have yeah. Physically. Because not only does your body change, your clothes change. No, they had to wear the other pussy. Yeah, you gotta clothes. wear the other poo clothes. Alright, so your body must change. Your anatomy I assume your anatomy changes. So who cares about being lost in the woods? The whole time I would have been like, You be fucking Bo Derek. Nineteen eighty one. Circa nineteen eighty one. I'd be like, I'm fucking you. And he's like, it's me, Harry. It's Ron. I'm like, don't talk. Yeah, but it's cool because you ain't got a fucking dick right now. (laughs) He's like, you're right. It feels good, Harry. I'll be lost forever. You can fuck anyone you want, man. With that, as long as you had some polyvore potion. Well, you you actually need, you need the potion, but you would actually need, um, you got to see DNA. No, why? What do they do? Do they pull hairs from these people? Yeah. Really? Yeah. All right. So the Bo Derek thing's out. No. Yeah. Exactly. All right. So it'd only be like Eric's hair. Like, I could turn get. into me. Yeah. He's like, I why don't you fuck myself? Yeah. Turn into me or flip over. And he's just like, why? I'm, like, I'm <laughs> bored. <laughs> We've been in the woods for two hours. <laughs> I got ADD. <laughs> <laughs> so they so they realize that man Mandingus has. I think that's, his that's name. not his name, is it? it? Sounds something like that. <laughs> it's Magnus or Man Magna. Nah, nah, nah. Who is he? He's the one who who ran away, and Mad Eye Moody got killed. He's kind of a thief, and he had come and he had the real Horcrux. He well, he did, but then they realized that he had sold it to the fucking 
chick who wears the pink outfit. Oh, Luna. Uh, no, 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 not Luna Lovegood. The the woman who ran the school and who called oh, Dolores. Dolores uh, uh, Claiborne. Cunt muffin. Yeah. Cunt muffin. Yeah, she's. <laughs> Hey, cut my mouth. <laughs> She's the one uh, who's all like, you know, kind of like uptight and yeah. And now at Hogwarts, we will be doing this. And yeah. he, and she like say she has a cat or a ghostly yeah. she cat. She works for the Ministry she, of Magic. So. Now she works for the Ministry of no, Magic. No, she did before too. But they installed her as the head of Hogwarts in the last movie. Or last movie or two movies ago. Maybe it was two movies. It was back. two movies. And back. now she's moved up the chain. She's and she's obviously a Death Eater. She's not. She's just real anal. So she's not intending to be evil but she just is yeah i don't like I, the, my memory is that she's not a, she's a bureaucrat yeah a she's the worst bureaucrat alive so and, she's not like secretly trying to bring back voldemort she's against voldemort <clears throat> yeah um i don't even know like we well, got it's, it's a little bit vague him, yeah. him. scott all right <laughs> there's only black two, and white world <laughs> yes yeah, there's only two positions here there are no moderates when it comes to voldemort like we should let him do his thing well he's all right i mean he's not bugging me <laughs> yeah as long as me taxes don't get raised <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> so they go to the Ministry of Magic. Remember, they go in. They and tur- look like people. Look like people. They go in. Um, remember, Ron is like the Ron is the husband of this woman on trial. Right. They grab the they grab the <laughs> necklace from her because the old lady's in court. She's the magistrate or the judge, the the, the yeah. Dolores woman, and but, so they grab and her magical ghost cat's there too. Yeah, like exactly. Walking on the bench, and then they get the. They get the Amulet necklace from her, and then they go. They the poly juice they potion escape. starts wearing yeah, off yeah. and shit. So There's they start a fight. They like run. Themselves and- they escape, and that's when they sort of. That's when they're out in the woods. They've gotten the Horcrux. They're out in the woods. They need to find new ones, but then they don't know how to destroy it. Yeah, they keep trying to like blast it with spells and shit, like break a kiss and shit, and it won't work. Yeah, and and they s- hit it with rocks. They try everything. It won't happen. And so they kind of realize that they probably need the sword of Gryffindor. Which again, where were, was this ever introduced before? Is this all sort of Gryffindor? Yeah, yeah. Use it's in it the to, second one. Yeah, to fight the serpent in the Chamber second of Secrets. One. Yeah, all right. And they realized too that like the way that they call they, back, man, it's kind of sweet. Yeah, yeah. Little call back to like remember that sword that you forgot about, remember bitches. It's coming back. <laughs> <laughs> She's JK's pretty excited about the return yeah. of that sword. So, you see, but they don't know how to get it. They don't know where it is. So they're out in the woods, and they're carrying the Horcrux around. And the Horcrux, the more you wear it, the more you get real surly. Yeah, so they start getting, like, dark Superman and shit. Yeah. And Ron start gets fighting. the dark. Or, like, remember... Um, well, uh, Ron gets all fucked up when they go... When they escape the Ministry of Magic, the guy, <coughs> like, blasts a... Something happened. The guy jumps in there with him, and remember his arms. All yeah, he fucked gets fucking. Re- well, no, it's uh, what? Yeah, okay. I was thinking of later on when fucking <laughs> no, no, Bellatrix no. Lestrange throws the knife. Yeah, no. yeah, he got blasted by a stray Something. magical yeah, yeah. beam, and it looked <laughs> like he literally got fucking fried, like lightsaber to his shoulder, and well, yeah, then she was, was like magically healing it and shit like that. Helicus, and yeah. then um, so then he was already He's kind like, of. There's a- another pain. Yeah, I think there's you know. It's, it's a bit South London, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> It's on the tube. <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, Ron. He's like, just touch it. Just, it'll make just it. Just look, do me a favor. It'll make the other part better. Yeah, it's, it hurts so much, Hermione. Just at least watch me jerk off. It's <laughs> like, I, I, if I must. Brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> I like this part. This is where I'm about to come. It feels good. Don't it? It doesn't look hot, Hermione. She's like, yeah, it's very hot. I got a sock that I use. <laughs> I carry it around. <laughs> you want to see it? <laughs> Do you want to see if the cum hits my face, Hermione? No, Ron. No, <laughs> goodbye. Wait, come back. I'm sorry. Oh, I put you on. I'm gonna finish. <laughs> <laughs> Beyond a minute. <laughs> <laughs> so then they're they. So then they get in the. Then it's they like, get in the woods and they spend literally. I mean, it's not two hours, but a lot of time in the woods. They're trying to, you know, they're jumping all these places constantly because they're trying to hide. And then they're fighting because of the Horcrux. Like every once in a while, somebody gets real fucking Her my, uh, pissy. Yeah, Ron leaves. Well, they, in between there, they, they can't not. Ha- somebody's got to have it on them. They can't just leave it someplace because yeah. what if some magical motherfucker? Then they takes go. It? I don't know. So if- they have to wear it and it makes them all bitter and shit. Then at a certain point, they end up. I don't know if it's before or after they destroy the Horcrux. They finally just, Ron leaves, Ron comes back, Harry and 
Hermione dance to Nick Cave song. Well, yeah, Ron leaves because he thinks they're fucking. Yeah, it's just like into you each like other. Him more than me. Not yeah, I like that. You watch him jerk off and not me. Yeah, because he's famous. It's fine to watch you Ben like Affleck him. jerk off because he's famous, <laughs> isn't it? And he's the Ben Affleck of wizards, isn't he? Goodbye. <laughs> She's just like, I don't even know like, why. What? <laughs> Wait, come on. Oh, fuck it. I don't want to deal with him today. Let him go mope. Hey, Harry, want to dance? Um, they do dance. That was kind of sweet. That was a yeah, really yeah. nice moment. I didn't know the song. Everyone, like Malcolm, I think, was just like, oh, it's Nick Cave. It's they dance in Nick Cave. How can you not know Nick Cave? Nick Cave. <laughs> I was like, what do you live in a fucking cave? <laughs> um, but it was kind of sweet. But you, I mean, unfortunately, I knew from you that like they never they never hook up. Yeah, but for that moment you were just, just like, like oh, uh, maybe gonna, yeah, like maybe it's, it's gonna be like, like in Rush where he has the fucking Tom. <laughs> yeah, she's like, I'm so scared, Harry. He's like, Well, I saw this in Rush once. Yeah. <laughs> he spins her I'll and fucks be her from behind. <laughs> <laughs> just to fucking snap her back into perspective. She's like, Jesus Christ, <laughs> I love Ron. He's like, This is gonna help. I saw it in Rush. <laughs> this help you focus. <laughs> Helping me. I'm giving you the Jennifer Jason Lee right here. <laughs> um, yeah, they dance, but then that's and there's no even like there's no hint. Of yeah, like oh, we might cause they're just good buddies, yeah, and yeah. I guess they're dancing, dancing buddies. Yeah, they're just like let's dance. Get their Mom. mind off of shit. Yes, for the moment, like instead of like oh my god, we're gonna could you could you imagine you live your whole life looking over your shoulder because some noseless fucking magic man yeah, might yeah. kill you at any minute. Mm-hmm. And your and the dude, you you know, they're both like she's mad because Ron left. So Everybody, then, there's a lot of bitterness <clears throat> going on. So they dance and let their troubles go and shit. And Say, hallelujah, come on, we're getting happy. It's not that dance. <laughs> it's more slow and shit. Like, fuck, yeah, he has yeah. his hands on her ass and shit. <laughs> he grabs her cheeks and spreads them apart. And even though she's wearing jeans, it's tough to do, but he's got magic. <laughs> <laughs> Backs her up against the tree. Um, so what happens after they dance and they don't fuck? Then, Disappointment. Uh, and then what happens yeah. plot wise? <laughs> Harry's got blue balls. <laughs> Harry's like, I really thought it was gonna happen. Blue ball is go us. And he's like, he could easily like he's a good dude, because he could just be like, just do a kiss. Once just, a kiss. Just break one off. Just the tip of a kiss. <laughs> yeah, just look a kiss. You could forget a kiss later. Come on, it's two thousand ten. He's, he's not here, he left us. Yeah. Look, I like Ron, but just please. Ron's gone. Yeah, as it's that simple. It rhymes too. Ron's gone. <laughs> <laughs> Ron's gone, let's get it on. That's three rhymes. <laughs> let's see him do that. <laughs> Ron does come back, though. Well, what happens is finally Harry's out keeping guard mm-hmm. one night, and he sees a, um, he sees a, uh, your fucking light animal or whatever, some deer, and he follows a stag it. or something like that. Yeah, it's not a... Once again, man, crossover with fucking Narnia, because they see a stag, too. Yeah. It's so weird. By the lake, they run into each other. Harry runs into the fucking four kids from Narnia. He's like, hey, man, I always wanted to know... I could kick your ass. What does Susan do? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Smartcast. I'm Kevin Smith. Scott Mosier. Is it true Susan is known as the whole queen of Narnia? Because <laughs> I'd like to know. <laughs> she's, t- she's sitting on a stores. Just takes her own boob out and starts sucking it. He's like, right, here's my answer. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Good to know. Um, yeah, he sees his uh, fucking power it's element not his. animal. It's somebody else's. I can't remember whose it is. Well, he thought it was his dad's for a minute because one time, remember, he saw his dad's fucking stag on a lake and shit. And, yeah, well, his but it was is... him from the future projecting it, and he thought it was his yeah, father. Yeah, he's the stag. It's a, like a doe, I think. I mean, some fucking deer. They all look the same and shit. Well, one's a boy and one's a girl. Would you know that though? Yeah, one has horns. Is that? But would you? Would that, all right, you're in the woods and we're burying a body. And all of a sudden, a deer walks up. Would the first thing be like, no, no, no horns, must be a girl. 
Yeah. Really? Yeah. That would never occur to me. I would just be like, kill it. (laughs) (laughs) It knows. (laughs) It's going to (laughs) talk. Take a second hole. (laughs) Um, Yeah. I would assume that, you know. Uh, Honestly, I wouldn't know that. Like, I, maybe if I sat there long enough, it might come back to me. But especially if it's got a big rack. Well, if it had a big rack, I'd be like, must be a girl <laughs> on its head. <laughs> oh, <laughs> boobs on its head. That would be weird. <laughs> Kill it, it's I'm like, this is the beast from Revelations, the eight boobed deer. <laughs> My revelation. <laughs> yeah, I was smoking weed. It revealed itself to me. I rewrote the Bible. I Kev saw an eight boobed deer in the woods. <laughs> And it talked to me. <laughs> and here's and it what told it me. said. <laughs> it said, son, there's a lot of things in this life you're going to have no use for. But when you get blue and you've lost all your dreams, there's nothing like a campfire and, and a, a can, can of beans. beans. Um, so they, uh, he follows the thing over a lake. He looks down into the frozen lake and he sees something that was, glowing. That was and one it's of those moments sort of where I was like, this is weak. Well, it's sort of Gryffindor. It's like, why was it there? Because if you know the, I don't, I can't say it exactly, but the sort of Gryffindor appears to those who are in need of it. It's, it's not something that's like, oh, it's not a physical, it's a, it is a physical thing, but it's not something that's like, oh, like, hey if man, I, it's at the top of the Tower of London. Yeah. It could be wherever it needs it to needs be. It needs to be where it needs to so be. So it winds up being in the fucking lake. And then well, he, if it's if it's where it needs to be, why not just appear in his fucking hand? Why is it like it's in the lake? Now you got to go into water and do it. It's like, how many how many tests am I meant to do? Do you know I lived under the staircase for like 10 years? <laughs> <laughs> so he dives into the water, but the Horcrux senses, which he has around his neck. Yes. The Horcrux senses that... It's near the sort of Gryffindor. It's going to be destroyed. So it starts to defend itself. Yeah. And he's drowning. And then. Because it's pulling him down into the depths or away or just keeping yeah. him underwater. Keeping, keeping him underwater. Him and he ain't, ain't got no poly or, or gillyweed. He's got no gillyweed. He didn't think he'd. It was shallow. Yeah. Yeah. But in the wizarding <laughs> world, Scott. Yeah. Get your gillyweed. Uh, yeah. Always you always got to carry your gillyweed. <laughs> an ounce carry of gillyweed. The, yeah. Under an ounce. You don't want to get busted. <laughs> 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 Spoken like a true word. <laughs> I've been around. <laughs> Look, you know potions. Go I'm ahead, no Gillyweed. Weigh it. Go ahead, motherfucker. You just gonna give me a ticket, bitch? Because it's under and out. <laughs> like, oh, that Potter. <laughs> He's so arrogant about it too. <laughs> um, so uh, Ron saves him. Yes. Um. Ron saves him. And, Ron, and they were just, he was like, where'd you go? He's like, I couldn't leave me mates behind. We're all buddies. And they hug. And yeah, yeah. He's like, again, I tried to left. Scott is the greatest magic of all. <laughs> so then, basically, then what happens is we get into the sexy time because Harry's like, you got to, cr- like, it's your Horcrux to kill. So take the sword. It's the one that affected you the most. So you do it. To who? To Ron. Remember they're sitting in the woods and then. Yeah, so like Ron comes back. He's like, that's not enough. <laughs> yeah, he's like, I, I, I came back. Like, <laughs> I'm the boy who came back. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the boy who returned. Come on. I'm the boy with the round trip. Oh, here I am. Like, <laughs> you gotta drown. <laughs> yeah, well, now I gotta do something else? Fuck. But don't you remember basically, um, they open the Horcrux, this big cloud of smoke, and Ron's like going, oh shit. And then the naked Hermione and Harry walk out of the luck. You're a right cunt. I was like, Harry. <laughs> Right. She's got no nipples. That's right. Yeah. That's right. And they start like kissing. <laughs> That's when you close your eyes and start. <laughs> That's when I came. Oh. I've been fucking doing a very slow, almost tantric like tug. <laughs> For nearly two hours, I'd read a review where they're like, there's some weird flashback where it looks like they're kissing. I'm like, oh, yes, oh, yes. bitch. <laughs> and I waited with a slow da, 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 tug. Da, 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 and then as soon as that fucking vision, I start pounding it hard, man. And they kissed. And I was like, hit yeah. the back of the seat. And they were like, again? <laughs> Six times this week. <laughs> I'm like, that's sex magic, bitch. <laughs> Blood sugar, baby. Sex magic. <laughs> See at the matinee. <laughs> <laughs> oh that's funny and so 
So then they, uh, Ron's just like, he's staring at it for a while, aroused, upset. <laughs> he just slowly jerks off. He's like, no, no, no. <laughs> Don't bite it. He's like, I can't. It's hot. <laughs> <laughs> but he does how does he win he jumps in he, <laughs> like he, the only way to beat it, ron is to jump in he's like which way. am i you're the cuckold he's like oh shit suck his dick ron that means freedom <laughs> he's like wait a second you guys aren't ghostly apparitions at all <laughs> Like, ah, smoke. <laughs> ah, Ron, we got Ron to suck Gary's dick. <laughs> now, how are we going to destroy the Harkers? <laughs> He's like, I feel better. <laughs> Again, I came back. Isn't that something? <laughs> Honestly, I expected credits to roll after my return. Instead, I was tricked into a blowjob. So. So he uh, he finally is just like ah he yells and he cuts the kills the Horcrux right so he finally nuts it. up and shit like that and then and then it and, and that's it, his biggest fear because he he loves Hermione yeah he's got a big he's got a big rod have they for kissed her. yet did they kiss no. in the last movie no I don't believe they haven't have they never said like I ah, they've never had the moment yeah it's just been it's all been implied six seven movies of awkward moments. <laughs> Yeah, but like, is there even now the implication of like these two, like, know that they like each other? I guess there wasn't that one. Harry is the one guy. Harry is the, Harry knows because when they're alone, there's just like this. He, Cause he's like Cyrano, man. Not Cyrano, cause he doesn't like Hermione, but he's, he's like, he's like I'll there. talk, Ron. Yeah, he's like, hey, Ron, I'll whisper shit in your ear. And he's like, uh, ah, Hermione, what light from yonder window breaks? Hermione, I really think you've got a fantastic. Hiney. He's like, uh, go fuck off, Weasley. He's like, quick, Harry, give me something to say. And he's just like, tell him you're gonna lick her asshole. <laughs> he's like, what? Go for it. <laughs> what? Tell her that chicks dig it. Really? It's work for me on your sister Ginny. Yeah, man, Ginny Weasley loves to get her asshole licked. Ginny Weasley's my sister. <laughs> yeah, and she loves to get her asshole licked. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she's just, let me tell you, I've never met a chick. She calls it a popsicle. <laughs> <laughs> She Which says is weirdly phallic, but I don't mind. She says uh, she never felt cleaner. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta feel good about that, right? <laughs> so go ahead, tell her that. Uh, I want to lick your asshole. Bam! <laughs> Drops a fucking magic TV on his head. <laughs> so they, he, Ron comes back. They're all pissed at each other, or they're 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 sort of estranged at yes. that point. <laughs> And then, it, <clears throat> and that's when they go to Luna Lovegoods. And you met her There's dad a symbol. at the at the wedding. Yeah, for the first time, you met her dad. He was played by uh, Risa Risa Fons, the dude who was uh, the buddy in that Hugh Grant movie with Julie Roberts. Notting Hill. Notting Hill. He was the buddy roommate. Now he plays Luna's yeah. dad, and Luna is the girl who's like. Clearly was molested as a child. <laughs> Something's wrong. I see magic. Hey? <laughs> oh, constantly. She's just like, and perhaps we can go about the unicorn trails, Harry. She has a spacey look in her eyes like she a child. Like he's she's like, on shrooms. Yeah, or like, I shut my real self away a long time yeah. ago because it goes through a lot of There's pain. There's a door that if I open, I'll kill all of you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but I keep it locked up. Right, Harry? Aside. <laughs> That's an aside. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. That's just for me and the doctor. <laughs> so there's a symbol that comes up at the beginning, and then they see on the st- on a tombstone. They see on his necklace. Well, that's like when Ron's gone. They end up going back to the town where Harry's. They see Harry's blown out house that was which is destroyed. okay. That was weird too. It's like Harry's fucking eighteen at this point. Yeah, he's been under like he's. Yeah, but nobody like, fucking ever said like, "Hey, let's bulldoze this house." Like it's a burnt out house in the middle of nowhere oh, yeah, that's yeah. been standing there for twenty years, burnt out. Yeah, like that's real estate, man. That's yeah, worth we money. Don't raise it. That's it. This is South London. <laughs> <laughs> you know how much it goes for. <laughs> and then they meet the. I, th- I thought that was bullshit, though. I was sitting there going, "They would have knocked this down a long time ago, man." Like, just show me the big empty plot of land. You don't have to show me Dirt. the burnt out husk. That's <clears throat> stretching credibility. I felt, and that's saying a lot, <laughs> saying a lot. <laughs> in a movie where people are like, "There's 15 Harry Potters now." <laughs> so then they see the old lady. 
Yes. Again, another like, who the fuck is this? The old lady was somebody who knew Dumbledore, and right. she was supposedly, they say it at the wedding, like, she is supposedly she the person. She wrote the book. She provided information for that hack fucking <clears throat> book writer. Rita. Rita Skeeter. Skeeter. She wrote the Dumbledore Skeety book. Skeeter. Like, he ate cock. He was totally gay. <laughs> yeah, chapter for one. Magic. He ate cock. <laughs> yeah, chapter yes, two. He did. <laughs> <laughs> chapter two. Fucked bums. <laughs> <laughs> Do you mean homeless? No, I mean ass. <laughs> Lots of ass. He fucked ass. Chapter three. <laughs> His pensive was a man's rectum. It was full of sperm. <laughs> it was a cauldron of sperm. <laughs> Come bucket, if you will. His friends called him Cum Dumpster Dumbledore. <laughs> Why are you shouting? <laughs> I'm so mad. <laughs> the truth is loud. <laughs> it's painful. Um, so this chick provided information to Rita Skeeter. So the kids are like, let's go back and talk to the chick. Cause she'll well, know. Yeah. They're, they come to this conclusion where there's like, I think we need to go back there. I think it's important. They go there. They see her. They follow her back to the house. And, uh, Harry, these, these kids, man. They're more resourceful than the Scooby gang. They, yeah. uh, you know what I'm saying? They would never beaten. If, I, if put it's that me, on the poster. <laughs> yeah, these kids more resourceful. more resourceful than the Scooby gang. And if that doesn't make you want to see it. <laughs> People are like, what an odd sell. I mean, if it's me, dude. Not saying much. Either. <laughs> if we're all in the woods, <laughs> I'm not like, let's go track down a woman who gave an interview. Maybe she knows something. My thing is like, let's enter a suicide pact. <laughs> <laughs> I need to go first. No, you know what? Second. I'll kill you guys. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't want to do any killing. I want to watch somebody get killed first. <laughs> While I jerk off. <laughs> don't, judge don't judge me. Don't judge me. Let me go out on top. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm dying, right? Just fucking give me this. <laughs> why you gotta give me, why you gotta give me, crush my nuts about this? Um, yeah, I'd be like, kill me first, man. Just fucking, I'd be like Matt Damon in the elevator in the department where I'm like, just fucking kill me, man. <laughs> like crying. <laughs> I'm like, what a pussy. <laughs> Shows into fucking weep. <laughs> I'm, I'm not even me. Harry. I'm Ron. I'm not even the target. <laughs> Just kill me, man. Um. So then they go. The old lady turns out to be the snake, the big snake. She turns into the snake. Yeah. Number one. Anytime you're in the wizarding world of Harry Potter, and there's some old fucker who's not talking, snake. Yes. <laughs> I mean, I don't. I'm not gonna say like fact. If there's an old British person who's like putting their finger to their lips and walking you through a house with a candle, trust that at any moment. Well, he fi- snake. <clears throat> he figured out because it makes one motion and because he understands snake. Because he yeah, he can kind of he <clears throat> parcel tongue. But anyways, they come back. We jumped forward to Ron coming back. This happens before Ron comes back. They go see the old woman. They see the old lady. His wand Without breaks. Ron. <clears throat> His wand breaks, and that's a big deal because. The wand chooses you. That was a big scene in the movie, yeah, yeah. In the first movie. And the whole, just, the whole, the whole, the whole other part of the subplot of the movie is that Voldemort is trying to find Voldemort is trying to find a wand to kill Harry right. because the wand that he has, like his and Harry's wand, just sort of cancel, cancel each, each other, other out. out. They're made from the same fucking Phoenix's magical phoenix fat hair. or something. Yeah, it comes to this. <laughs> this is made from a butt hair of a magic bird. <laughs> That shit's powerful, man. <laughs> I mean, don't fuck with me, man. <laughs> I'm just saying. You know how hard it is to get? <laughs> yeah, you try to get a fucking anal hair out of a fucking phoenix before it burns a, up. I can get a feather like that. <laughs> yeah, who cares about that? But fucking butt hair? <laughs> Strongest magic there is. <laughs> butt magic. More powerful than sex magic. Blood sugar baby. Yeah, butt, butt magic. magic. <laughs> <laughs> like, what do you mean, butt magic? Like... Uh, if not for magic. Double T, baby. No, two T's, butt ass. Ass magic. <laughs> Blood sugar, baby. Ass magic, right? Come on, everybody. <laughs> you know what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. Your name, Ron Society. So they get the, so then they leave. His wand's broken. Ron comes back. They destroy the Horcrux. <clears throat> he takes somebody's wand, Voldemort. He takes, uh. He takes, uh, uh what's his name's dad's wand? Yeah, Lucius, uh. Malfoy. Malfoy. He takes Mr. Malfoy. Name? Draco. Draco yeah. Malfoy. Who in this movie 
is seen as something of a, a like he doesn't necessarily want to be bad. Yeah, he's kind of like he, he's not he's fully like, committed. Yeah, he's like this is this is dark. Yeah, he's like, yeah, he's like I just wanted to break I some windows and video. call people muggles. <laughs> Order some pizzas and you know, people that. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. But this is fucking weird, man. This motherfucker's turning to snakes and eating people. It's too time consuming. <laughs> yeah, I mean, don't we have better things to do? What about some sex magic, right? With a K? <laughs> I'm 18, I'm in my prime. Yeah, holy shit. My gum is fuck, it's more strong than a phoenix uh, anal hair. I got a news for it. <laughs> yeah. Put my shit in a wand. Watch what happens. Right? Anybody? <laughs> no sport here? You guys are real serious. <laughs> yeah, my God. You guys are rad. You're so mad. Let it go. <laughs> Smoke some gillyweed. Yeah, here, man. Let's break this off. I have ounce Don't carry it out. <laughs> yeah, it's too much. But I got enough for all of us. Uh, love good. Lo- uh, mm-hmm. Love lovelies. They go Luna to Love Good's Luna house. Love Good's house to see the father because they want to find out about this symbol. Right. Mm. Which and they recognize from a necklace that he was wearing. An they recognize it from a necklace. It was on a grave. It was, it was They're it, seeing it a It bunch. was also in the book that Dumbledore gave to Hermione. Right. Hermione gives Harry something. He, give, he gives him a Quidditch ball. Mm. They give Ron the little light catcher that's in the very first scene of the very first movie. Is it? Yeah. Oh, when fucking Hagrid shows up. Like the first shot of the movie is is um, Dumbledore pulling the lights out to make back or, when it was Richard or he's Harris. lighting it up or he's doing something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, he's stealing the lights from the streets, I think, to make it dark. And they bring the baby yeah. and bring him to the Dursleys. And what's this then? They're like, put it under the stairs. We'll be Just back in thirteen it, years. Yeah. <laughs> Don't treat him well. <laughs> <laughs> Give he's, him some character. He's gonna have so many adventures and be a king for life. So these first few years, make it hard on him. <laughs> <laughs> Give that kid a sense of reality. <laughs> um, so they, uh, <clears throat> so Ron gets the light thing, mm-hmm. which is the thing that leads them back. Well remembered. How'd you remember that thing that it was from the first one? Was it in the book? She was like, P.S. That was from the first book. Remember? No, I just remember the opening. I think I'd watched. I, it was on TV and the other like, day. Check it out. I was like, check it out. There's all. It's all coming together. Yeah, hey, it's one world, baby. Yeah. <laughs> it's your world, baby. <laughs> So they all get these things and they're trying to figure out what the, why, the, you know, and they figure out over the movie what each of them is for. They each have a clue <coughs> or course, whatever. He didn't just give them random mm. shit. He so was they, like, this is going to come in handy here, here, and here. And Hermione gets a, like a fairy tale <coughs> book, a book of, of like witch fairy tales or whatever. So when they get to Love Goods, they're like, oh, that's the symbol of the Deathly Hollows, which mm. explains the title of the, the book. Title. And then Hermione, tells the story of the deathly hollows as from the book as from the book so the big thing is <clears throat> the deathly hollows are you get them all together you're the most powerful wizard in the world is the idea right you could conquer now the invisibility death. the invisibility cloak harry has and then then it goes to the wand which is the thing that that Voldemort is looking for and it turns out that the wand was buried with Dumbledore. With Dumbledore. And the movie ends with him like opening it up and like going like, oh, I got the wand. And everyone's like, that's his prick. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, it is. <laughs> well, it's awfully hard and fleshy. <laughs> I was just trying to have a laugh. I'm trying just... to show the lighter side of me. <laughs> yeah, everyone's always saying. <laughs> They're just a... like, don't, should we tell him? <laughs> <laughs> it's his petrified dick. <laughs> yeah, like, don't do it. Don't do it. Just tell him. Just tell him. Awesome. Yeah, man, that's the wand, all right. Deathly Hollow wand. <laughs> oh boy, they're in for some trouble. It's like, what if he has to face down a wizard and he's just holding this fucking petrified <laughs> dick? <laughs> it's kind of funny, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Well, what do you mean? I think you answer your own question with that. <laughs> it's question. brilliant. Yeah. Like, think about it. Like, think about what you just said. <laughs> oh yeah, that is kind of fucked. All right, let's just watch. <laughs> Go get him, man. We're behind you. Get We're eating the- death on your behalf, motherfucker. Get him with the dumble dick. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's the end of the movie as they open up the coffin. And that's is the, the, is the wand in there or no? Yeah. The, well, before that, that's jumping to the last shot of the movie is it? he figures out who he figures out who stole. He Voldemort finds the guy who steals the wand. Yada yada yada. Figures out it's with Dumbledore. Opens the casket, pulls out the wand, and fires sparks in the air. Right, like the Fourth of July. He's just like, I got it. I'm gonna kill him. This is, they're so like that's their first celebratory move. Is like let's let everyone know with a fireworks <clears> display. <throat> yeah. Whoopee! Pew 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 pew. Shooting lights into the air. <laughs> 
I'd be like, I want to shoot something, motherfucker. I want to shoot Wad in the back of a throat. <laughs> I don't care whose it is. Hey, Lucius. <laughs> He's like, but you, you took got my- long hair. <laughs> <laughs> but Lord, you already took my wand. Now you're gonna take, you take my wand. <laughs> <laughs> That's the end for Vol- But I'm a death eater. <laughs> Tonight you're a cock eater. <laughs> and tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, and whatever I say. <laughs> um That's the end that's the end, very end of the movie. And then what happens is they go to Love Good's house. Lovegood tells him the Deathly Hollows, and then he's trying to keep him there. Because he's cause they, holding him. Because the they took Luna Lovegood. Yeah. They took his daughter, and he's like, I'm so sorry. I had to. They had my kid in the fucking pshirm, 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 Death Eaters. Those show up, and they jump again, don't they? They jump again, and they escape to the woods, but they basically escape to the woods, and then this pack of Death Eaters who are hunting mudbloods and stuff find them. There's a big chase. But Harry changes his appearance. Well, right at the end, Hermione, Hermione like, does. blasts him in the face to make him look like a... Ugh. Yeah, he's kind of all fucked up. And shit. He's just, oh, oh. It's my cousin Annie. He looked like he done... Uh-huh. Yeah, he was... <laughs> and they brought him in, regardless. Yeah. And then he's trying to... People keep looking at him like... I'll see you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, everyone's looking fishy. Like, in that world... Where you you live in a wizarding world where it's like magic is possible, wouldn't like I wouldn't trust anybody. I'd be looking at everybody that way, I'd be like, "Are you really a girl? Are you poly juice? Yeah, are you my mother? Are you on the juice? <laughs> are you juicing? <laughs> Nobody is as they seem. Like you can't ever fucking feel safe in that world, even especially amongst the villainous uh, sector, man. Like yeah. the dark magicians, because they're all about deceit, betrayal, fucking yeah. you know, up is down, black is white, fucking burnt toast is good. <laughs> <laughs> like they're all just wacky, so I I don't know that I'd ever feel comfortable in that world, man. I would just be like everybody's lying. Paranoid, to me. you kill yourself. I, I'm just totally in my way Take out. Take a wand like, into the chin. <laughs> yeah, but can't do it. And zap. <laughs> so they get captured. Or could you obliviate? That'd be like wizarding suicide. You could like hit yourself with a little obliviate, and you'd forget that you were a wizard. That's true. So you could just go live as a man and, and be drooling, eating uh, old cheese. <laughs> Not necessarily. You could be, you could like. You maintain. have no, I mean, I guess if you could control what you remember. Yeah, just be like, look, obliviate me to a fucking normie and make me a, if you make obliviate, me a muggle. You just obliviate gotta, me just as much as, like, make me a muggle. I don't want to remember I'm a magician and shit, a wizard. Yeah, yeah. I guess you could probably rock that and live a normal life. That badass, man. Well, you'd, you'd always, wake you'd up always and be have like, a what's this fucking stick? And you start in jamming my hand. in your ass. Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> like. <laughs> You failed up. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you were the Lord of the Wizards. <laughs> then you obliviated it. First thing you do. <laughs> so you stick your wand in your butt. Oh, you're just, you're a lost. <laughs> um, so then they end up, they get captured. They're brought to Bellatrix. Bellatrix. Bellatrix's the house. Where, house. Is it the, no, where do they bring them? To Bella, Bellatrix's house. Cause she's just like, how did you get That's right. My- she's got these massive gates that they come through. And, uh, She's like, how did you get the sword of Gryffindor? Mm. Like, it was in my vault or whatever. They send Harry and Ron downstairs. They're trapped. Luna's there. Mm. And, and they still don't know Harry's Harry? No, they do. <sighs> they do at that point. And she's like, I can't kill him because yeah. the Dark Lord. The Dark Lord. Has- I can't touch him. The Dark Lord. And they're like, you and that Dark Lord shit. You can't do Anything because this dark lord. I say you want to go bowling with us? The dark lord. You can't go bowling with us. Ten pin without the dark lord. <laughs> you don't go here. You don't go there. You've turned into a re- real wet rag, Bellatrix. It's always the dark lord. You better shape up. You're losing friends. <laughs> I'm real sorry. Friends. I'm sorry. It's just, but I, but the dark lord. I, there it is again. <laughs> so then, uh, don't you remember, like, she, so they keep Hermione and she basically carves mud blood into her arm. Yeah, she's, she's sprawled across her and she starts carving in her with a wand. She writes, yeah, she wrote mud, muggle or mud, mud blood. blood, mud blood. And, uh, so then, but don't She'll be like, whatever, man. Like, that's like great. That's bad. This is yeah. Oh my God. I like I, I literally thought they were going to obliviate. You could have put it on my lower back. Yeah. Or put <laughs> it across my fucking stamp. forehead. Like, and I can hide this. I got to wear sleeves. Fuck you. I win. <laughs> <laughs> sleeves. I win. It's not even magic. 
<laughs> That's sleeve magic. Blood sugar, baby. Sleeve magic. Sugar. Oh, the most powerful magic there is. <laughs> the most overplayed song. <laughs> In all of wizardom. <laughs> Those guys are making a killing on royalties. <laughs> I mean, Jesus Christ. They made a lot of money in fucking Muggle World, but from us wizards alone, you put magic in the title any song. Yeah. We'll fucking line up. That's all we listen to. <laughs> this magic moment. Shit, it's, it's, like, like, it's, like, it's like being in the North Pole. You just listen to Christmas music. <laughs> um, Uh-oh, it's magic. When I'm with you. Know. <laughs> so then... um. So then Dobby sh- Dobby shows up. The house elf. The one who's not the one who's free. Creature or creature. Yeah. I think it is creature. Creature. Um and creature's always like no, fucking, no, no, fucking no, no, bitch. No, shove it up your ass. Smack your face. The other one, Dobby's the opposite. He's, oh, he's I'm free. Yes, he's he's gallant to treat yeah. creatures goofus. He's like, oh, I'm free and I was made free by Harry Potter. And the other one's just like mm, fucking Jews run everything. <laughs> <laughs> he's no, Mel <laughs> Mel the house elf. <laughs> Melf. <laughs> I'll show you. Yeah. Hermione's just like, we have to, we have to get some information from Melf. <laughs> fucking, you can get only a fucking big shot in the back of the throat from me, sugar tits. <laughs> What do you say? Uh, nothing. He spoke elf, elvish. He's drunk again. <laughs> you tell him what I said. I said, stop fucking the job. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, so Dobby, Dobby, Dobby shows up. He's the good elf. And he's like, hello, Harry Potter. And they're like, you could Harry Potter is my friend. Yeah. Where you're like, oh, maybe. <laughs> Not when you put it like that. That's really pathetic. That's desperate. <laughs> yeah, you're made. Let me tell you, Harry Potter's not your friend. Harry Potter's a little nervous and un- uncomfortable. Because you're Harry Potter's stalker. Yeah. Just like, Back off, dude. Just, you know, let me call you. Give okay. <laughs> <laughs> so he uh he shows up and he's like oh can tr- is it transubstantiate no man that's dogma in oh, the okay. catholic church but i can uh i can he te- can jump around yeah, teleport he, yeah he can he can go in and out he's not affected so he's just like i can get us out of here so he takes luna lovegood and a couple other people he grabs them all he's got they're no, all upstairs he grabs, he well, grabs- first they're downstairs in the cellar, the basement, the dungeon, or whatever. Yeah, but he grabs Luna Lovegood and two other people that I don't remember. Apparate? Is that what it is? Apparate. He apparate. And he grabs two other people. He's like, oh, I'm an elevator apparate. <laughs> I am. Oh, I've made that up myself. <laughs> you are clever, Toby. Nobody ever. Oh, God. Hey, man, don't buzz his balls. At least he's not his cousin, Melf. <laughs> It could be entertaining, but <laughs> oh, the cost never happened. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Melf, how you hate Jews! <laughs> well, uh, so Dobie shows up. He teleports. There's it's Luna Lovegood, and there's two other people in the basement that I can't remember who they are. Some other motherfuckers who weren't that important to the plot. Yeah. I think it's Preggers, man. Wasn't Preggers one of them? No. <laughs> she was like, you got here at the right time. Because <laughs> I was ready to start fucking everything in sight, man. <laughs> Look, at <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at my appearance. <laughs> it screams morally loose. <laughs> Trapped in prison with a bunch of men. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> Airtight, I'm, bitch. <laughs> I'm wet like a water slide. <laughs> I think it was her, no? Well, I don't she wasn't think in so. It? it was two people, though, because I remember... First they, they go, though, from the basement to upstairs? Uh, Dobie operates them out, and then he operates Harry and Ron upstairs, and then they fight. They fight. And then they Who? grab... Who do they fight? They Whoever's fight there. Bela- Bellatrix. But they don't fight long, right? They just kind of defend, defend, just to get Hermione. Grab Hermione. And then they race to the fucking fireplace to check stockings. No, to, uh, to, that is their apparatus, portcullis, I don't know whatever it's called, but that's how they get out. Yeah. If they hit that place. There's some, like the portal opens and they're all jumping through. Yes, all of them, including Dobby. And every shit's going to work out. 
It's the best day ever. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm sitting in the movie going, amen, finally, a happy ending for the boy who lived. And that's when Belichick Lestrange pulls a fucking blade and whips it through the portal and they go all slow-mo. And you're like, no, no, because the last man through the portal was Dobby. Yeah. And fucking. And like you don't the- necessarily know, but it the portal seals, the knife and is And the in knife there. is in there and she kind of smiles. Yeah. Uh, Bellatrix is strange, and then they're on a beach somewhere, and fucking Dobby took took the knife, and he's like, "I was Harry Potter's friend." <laughs> oh, it's heartbreaking. He's a good dude. You haven't seen yeah. him in like five <laughs> that's movies. When you finally stop masturbating, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's when I put the dick down. I'm like, let's honor this noble puppet. <laughs> there's right, and there's right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in court and they're like, um, <laughs> so when, when did you stop masturbating in the theater? When everyone else did or should have when Dobby got killed. <laughs> what do you mean? Don't be retarded. <laughs> everyone knows. <laughs> Your honor. <It's> etiquette. <laughs> the state rests. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Shouldn't logic win? <laughs> <laughs> Poor Dobby gets fucking knifed. He gets killed. <laughs> knifed. <laughs> killed in the streets of New York. <laughs> By a sawed off toothbrush. <laughs> He's wearing his prison blues and shit. He was in the lunch line. <laughs> Dobby's out. <laughs> Harry Potter's <is> wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Don't Dobby. fuck with the Aryan Brotherhood. <laughs> <laughs> he was he's, he's in the lunch line like don't be hate McRib <laughs> some dude comes up to him whispers in his ear this is from this is from the one he who shall not be named like what <laughs> Takes the toothpick ship between two ribs right into his lung. Uh, <laughs> like, I didn't see that ending coming. Like, that's the only part of the book we changed. <laughs> we thought it would have more impact if Donald wanted was... it to get gritty. <laughs> yeah, I was, to be honest with you, I was watching Oz when I wrote that portion, <laughs> and it just seemed to fit. I love prison movies. <laughs> I mean, that's real. All right? There's truth in this art. <laughs> That's Jim Dale gave me tons of shit before. <laughs> if anybody ever says, where's the truth in this? I can show him. It's that prison death of Dobby. <laughs> <laughs> Happens all the time. <laughs> um, so he dies and everybody's. That was the end of the movie, right? It was him dying. Just like the last movie. I was more emotional about him dying than fucking Dumbledore. Because Dumbledore, I didn't believe. I was like, this ain't real. Yeah, and also the movie... So they didn't show it. They stopped. They won't show it. Yeah, the movie just sort of like... It happened so fast. The Dobie thing sort of like... Well, there was a build-up to it where it's the slow knife and you're, as you're figuring it out as an audience member... You're and like, you're just like, someone's gonna die. Elf. Well, you know it's him. Yeah. Because he fucking saved them all. And she was like, you filthy elf. And he's like, Dobie is a free elf. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, he does yeah. the big fucking stand up to this horrible fucking woman, and so you could tell when she whips the knife, she's like, and the close of the portal closes, she yeah, gets yeah. that expression. She's like, "Yeah, I killed that fucking, I killed that strident little elf." <laughs> could you imagine me in that heartless that you're just like, "I killed something because like it spoke back to me." Yeah. Like Malcolm told me, "This is fucking horrible, dude." And it's his story, and he'll probably he should tell it, but I'm a fucking he gave it to me. <laughs> <laughs> and I gotta get off my chest because it's like I've heard. I heard this. I was like, "This is fucking unbelievable." I can't believe I, this sounded like something came out of Harry Potter. Said his mom one day when he was a kid, they had a cat, and the cat um, jumped up on the bed while she was making. She had just made the bed, jumped up on the bed and pissed on the bed. And Malcolm's mom was so fucking pissed off at the stridency of the pet of this cat. She grabbed it by the nape of the neck, took it to the vet. And ordered the vet to put it down while she waited and watched. So not only was she like, oh, we're getting rid of the whoa. family cat. She was like, this cat must die. And I was like, Malcolm, 
what the fuck, man? That's a hard. He's she like, didn't yeah. make Malcolm go. No, she wasn't like, and you're going to watch. She's like, what I do? I didn't piss on the bed. Why do we have to kill Kitty? Let's have learned, eh? <laughs> yeah. um, overall, I felt it was uh, a little padded to me. Like, I understand that book was too big to do as one movie. Yeah. But it felt like, like, I, like, just that, that wood shit should have been truncated. Like, it's always, they always go for a thick movie because they want everyone to feel like they got their money's worth and they spend millions of dollars making it. Yeah. But they could have easily <clears throat> done with like 15 minutes less, made it a little tighter. That, that was my only, you know, and that's and the editor talking. I was just sitting there going, come on, man. Like, maybe you're honoring the book right now, but there's a little, we're not reading. It's a movie. <laughs> Move. You know, I was yelling from the audience. <laughs> I took the eye out. <laughs> <laughs> Get it? Bruce Willis taught me that. It's a movie. We should be moving. He also said chuff a lot. Thank you. <laughs> I'm the crazy person shouting in the back of the theater all the time. My name's Max Katie. Um, he, he, uh, it was, it felt a little inflated. Like at the end of the movie, I was just like, you know, 15 minutes less would have been of, of sitting like, around because there's not much going on. There's a, there's probably the slowest part is the like, to me, the slow part is the like, the building of the like, Ron is going to leave. That to me was the. Did part. that happen in the books too? Where he's just like, yeah. I'm outie. Yeah. I mean, it's they stay pretty, pretty close to, the, to all yeah. the books. It's just that, uh, that to me also felt a little like forced. You've been, I mean, they, these motherfuckers have been through like shit together. Like Ron, when he was a little boy, faced giant man eating spiders yeah. beside this kid. Like, yeah, but that, he this, ain't gonna, we're f- talking pussy now. Yeah, but I don't know, dude. It's one thing like you're friends with somebody and like, you know, you both like the same girl. Not like, again, did you, what part of giant man eating spiders didn't factor into the equation for you? Like, they've been through some <clears throat> shit. Like, he was I would imagine dudes who've been he, through Vietnam. Spiders together. were prepubescent. Yeah, but that would make a huge impact though. But if you went to Vietnam together with some dude, you come back from Vietnam and you're married and that, Dude, your buddy from Vietnam, you've been through the shit. That dude saved your life. You know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? Like fucking literally shooting Charlie left and right. Dude, Charlie was about to stab <laughs> you. <laughs> Whoever Charlie is was about to stab you with a fucking bayonet right near fucking back of your skull and shit like that. And this motherfucker was like, ba-doom, ba-doom, took him out and fucking got you out of there. Uncommon Valor style. Come yeah. on. You know, like, like fucking, uh, I don't know how we got into that. Oh, Harry Potter. <laughs> Same fucking ending. Same depressing black I, I agree ending. that like it. And definitely from the book, I will say that my only critique was just like the the Ron Harry one of them running off. Mm-hmm. I was a little bit like, That's all right, it. I'm Fourth done. Thing. My analogy: you and me are in the nom together. You saved my life with all that shit I said, Charlie. Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> so <coughs> we come home. <coughs> I'm married. <coughs> you uh, you come over. We're very good friends. You wind up having an affair with my wife. I'm not. Which doesn't even happen in the movie. So you're even taking but it he farther is, than. His head, they were though. And his, like, Ron was getting steamy because he's like, these two like each other and I'm going to be the odd man out. And I love him, Arnie. Yeah. And he took off. So. But it'd be different than he walked in and Harry's just like. Dude, yeah. He's just like, fucking, it, she's dude. literally her back's to Ron. She's riding him. Harry's sitting in upright in a chair, looking over her shoulder, looking right in Ron's eyes. Like, what? What? I'm the great one. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> Make your move. Yeah. I'm the boy who lived. What the fuck are you going to do? Now I'm the boy who fucks. Your girlfriend. <laughs> Sorry, Ron. <laughs> He's His... the boy who gives. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, shit. He's the boy who gives head, Ron. How about that? This motherfucker <laughs> lick a kiss, pussy kiss. You could have done that. Years. You never did. Redheads don't eat pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Was that Ron or her? <laughs> That's his defense. It's in my DNA. <laughs> Ron's just like Red. Don't get a head. That's what it's Ginny saying. does. And he's like, oh shit. <laughs> oh, not only is he fucking the woman I love, <laughs> he's apparently tossed it into my younger sister. <laughs> I hate Harry Potter more than Voldemort does. God, I gotta leave. <laughs> I'm out of here. <laughs> um, I will say that it, it definitely. It's happened a lot. Mm. And so I did, there was that point of just like, look, I know he's coming back and I didn't think there needed to be one more. And so it's like, have it out in the fucking, have it out. Like, don't, 
Just what? say it. Just, just have that. Like, hey, do you like her? Do you like her? And it's he's like, like no. no. No, she's a pig. No. <laughs> he's like, well, 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 I mean, hey. Those dots yeah, are yeah, it's my girl. <laughs> well, well, your girl's a pig. <laughs> Wands up. <laughs> She's like, Jesus Christ. Every day they have this argument. Every day I obliviate it. Every day they do it again. I'm not a pig. <coughs> um, yeah, that was a little, <clears throat> that was a little tiring. Um, what happens in the, you've read the book. Spoiler, spoiler. Next up, uh, they got a fight. Him and Voldemort That's, have yeah, to fight. Yeah, it all ends up in a big war at Hogwarts. Really? On the grounds? Yeah. And motherfuckers like pew 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 pew. Everybody, it's everybody. Dumbledore still doesn't come back. No, dead, dead, dead. I Does can't... he come back as a ghostly apparition? Like Harry, use the force. <laughs> <laughs> What's the force? <laughs> <laughs> Harry, use force. Hit him in the fucking head <laughs> with that chair. Never mind the wand. <clears throat> um, I don't. He he may come back in some. You know, he's more like a presence. Right. But he doesn't come back. But yeah, it, it it basically ends with a giant fucking all balls out fight. How many um are there some cool deaths on the bad side? It's like I just I tell me this much. Uh does uh, does Dobby's death go unavenged? No. She got to go down. You don't kill an, an elf that nice and <laughs> To walk away clean, man. There are rules <laughs> in my world. You can kill a lot, <laughs> but not the nice ones. <laughs> not elves that are sweet. If you're gonna kill an elf, kill creature. There's um, more. There's you know they're pursuing more Horcruxes. They need to get it down. So when he dies, he dies. That's the whole idea. You know what I mean? So that when Voldemort goes down, he goes down. You gotta forever. face him. So what? You gotta break all the Horcruxes, then face him, or face yeah. him? And you just hope all the Horcruxes are broken. They're, they're breaking Horcruxes as an insurance policy? No, they're basically like, if I split myself into s- six parts. Yes. And I kill off all those six parts. If I, if you kill, weaker. if you kill, well, then like, then you kill me, I die. Cause if you kill me. Oh, so they might not even, there's a possibility that they don't even have to face Voldemort. They just have to break six No, they do finally he have to. And he's like, oh, it drops dead no, no, somewhere. No. He, <laughs> it's a little better than that. <laughs> Someone just broke your window. What? Oh, <laughs> should have put souls somewhere else. <laughs> Why did I put it in the porch window? <laughs> Most easy. Thought it was smart. <laughs> should have put the screens down. Oh. Um, you know they killed. There's two of them are gone. I think they know how many there are. If they don't destroy them all, mm. and then they kill him, then he'll come back eventually or right away. I mean, eventually. So they all need to be killed before they kill him? Or can't they kill like half now, kill him, and then kill the other half? They, yeah. They could? There's yeah. no specific like, if you not, if it must be done in the specific yeah. order. But it would be, I mean, I think the idea is like, well, let's, let's end it once and for all. So like, let's we're tired find, of this. Yeah. This is, this is a drag. No more. <laughs> you heard him. <laughs> he said it, right? I'm with him. I'm with Snrub. No more. So, the, so they'll destroy all the Horcruxes. So then, when they finally face him and he dies, he will die forever. Okay. So that's the that's the idea. That's the <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, Dumbledore doesn't return. Um, uh, Ron, uh, Ron will Ron uh, have some specific? There's no arc that he's got to complete except with her. Yeah, he, I mean, you know, they're they're all kind of. Did like, they ever kiss in the next one before they do the years later? These yeah, spoiler alert. Yeah, we've done that. Like, yeah, they talk about like at the end of the postscript to the book, they wind up they're together, getting married. Yeah, but yeah. in the book, yeah, there's a moment in the next one where they they finally kiss in the midst of like heated battle and shit. Or I don't remember the exact specifics. I just in remember the midst it. of heated foreplay. Yeah. yeah. Ron's just like, I, I don't even like to kiss on the mouth. Yeah. He's like, look, that shit you heard about redhead is ain't true. She says, what you mean? He's like, oh. He's like, I'll pack a lunch, baby. <laughs> <laughs> See, Ron, eat her mighty out. <laughs> For a long time. <laughs> it's 20 minutes. Crazy, man. It's like real time. Reel. It's like Andy Warhol's sleep, but it's Ron Weasley's eat. <laughs> and 
<laughs> he's not good at it. So sometimes you cut to her. She's looking uncomfortable. Falls asleep. Yeah. <laughs> she taps him. He gets the tap lot. He's like, well, I could do this. I swear. <laughs> Practice makes perfect. Right? <laughs> Lick a kiss. <laughs> <laughs> um, what else happens? What else can we look forward to without being too spoilery? I mean, Does the, Snape ever play a fucking role again? Yeah, he comes. He he becomes a big part of the second half of the book. Yeah, because then this one he kind of showed up, and then well, it's all this setup for like, and that's the guy I want to see the most. He's 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 much more. Prominent. He's a big part of this. He'll be a big part of the second half. I need uh, I need a version of Harry Potter where Alan Rickman plays Harry Potter. So that every scene in a little schoolboy outfit. Yeah, totally. Cause he, but you'd buy it, dude. After like, t- I'd say 10 minutes, you'd forget like he, he's gotta be fucking 50 or they, something. They like should that. just, they should just immediately make Harry Potter like the, the, you know, the older years and have him star in his Harry Yeah, like Potter. what happened when he became like, cause he goes to work for the Ministry of Magic yeah. and shit. Harry, what happens when he becomes Harry's a bureaucrat? Harry's midlife crisis. Yeah, where he's just like, uh, I don't want this anymore. <laughs> uh, fuck. I never thought I'd say this, but I missed the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> um, what else happens, man? That's why I bought. That's why I bought the book on tape because, like, I did you listen to it on the whole ride? Well, <clears throat> we haven't li- left yet. That's right. My bad. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was existing across many different time spectrums. <laughs> Happy 2011. <laughs> What, uh, all right. So you then you'll find yourself out. into another year. I, did. I <laughs> smoked myself into the future, Scott. I was going to tell you how Red State did everything like that. Um, so you'll get to hear it. You'll get to know, man, before, you know, it's funny. I, guess I could know if I listened to it yeah. as well. When I'm I read the book, the movies, when you get the, like, when you read the books, like, there's that, you know, and I'll admit it, there's the level of anticipation where it's like, I read, you read too fast to like, it sort of, it settles in. But some of the details don't completely. Yeah, you're not sitting there doing. It's not like you're savoring the meal. You're just fucking hungry and you're just shoveling it in. I need the information in me. What happened? Elf elf magic. (laughs) These people aren't real, but I need your baby. (laughs) Ass magic. Um, just, just going 700 pages to see if anybody fucks. Yeah, you're just like quick, like kind of like you know they do those you're drawing per page and you flip the book real fast. You're just doing that, looking for the word butt fuck. Like, no, <laughs> no, just in the author note. <laughs> Which is curious. <laughs> But sold me because you got to be really comfortable with yourself to yeah. put that on the jacket of a kid's book. <laughs> That's the name of her next series. <laughs> butt fuck the magician. <laughs> no, it's just butt fucking. No G, a bosh V over the end. <laughs> She's like, well, butt, butt fucking what, JK? She's butt fucking, man. <laughs> I mean, what more do you need? Shit. How jaded are you that you need more? <laughs> I come in, give you gold like butt fucking, and you ask me then what? The Wizarding World of Harry Potter, uh, Scott, will always uh, capture our imaginations for yeah. all time. It is it's pretty this huge. generation's uh, Star Wars. Actually, better, probably, because... Has anybody ever made eight movies of anything? We, we did. Viewers yeah. Universe is how many movies? Six? No. Clerks, Mallrats, Chasing Amy, Dogma, Jane Silent Bob Strike Back, then Clerks 2. Six. Fuck, we need to make two more to tie Potter. <laughs> um, But, yeah, I guess nobody had James Bond. Bond, okay. But that's, you know, different. Bond, okay. Yeah. But British, again, curiously. Yeah. Both British. Those Brits know about longevity. That's why they yeah, do yeah. those, even though their series, quote unquote, only last six episodes per season. Yeah. Which that wouldn't wash in America. You can't watch six episodes of Good Times and, <laughs> and know what the fuck's going I mean, you on. Can. I mean, you can. We'd be lost. You're like, I don't get it. Do they win? <laughs> Ever? Where's the victory? <laughs> Um, yeah, man, it's, uh, I guess that is kind of like real standout, standalone. And they've been just doing it, like doing it yeah. year in, year out. It's a little industry, man. We watched those kids grow up and shit, watched her fucking get fucking loaded boobs and they're rich. I think they're gonna, I think they're, well, number one, they've got more than enough money to throw at any problems that yeah. get in their way. Well, if I'm like, gonna build me own rehab. Yeah, totally. <laughs> yeah, and put myself in it. I'll be the only one there, like Rudolph S at the end. Or him. I think Rudolph Hess was the the last guy in Spandau Prison. 
No, I don't remember that. I think it was Rudolph Hess. Um, Spandau Prison was a prison that held just held, – held a few prisoners, and some of them were war post-war criminals, uh, World War II criminals. Rudolf Hess was one of them. And then he was the lone prisoner in Spandau Prison, the only person for about 20 years – all throughout mm-hmm. my youth, it was kind of like one of those stories, like, you better be good or else you may wind up the only man in prison, like Rudolf Hess. And I was like, what, like a Nazi? <laughs> like, if I'm not good, I'll be a Nazi? You think if I don't make my There's bed? There's a long road. Yeah, I think him. there are many things, Mom, that have to happen between me not making my bed and me killing <laughs> someone for their race. <laughs> um, But that dude died in that prison by himself. He was the last one in the prison. Wow, wow man. I guess Spandau Prison is kind of like Azkaban, to bring it back to the Wizarding World of Harry yes. Potter. But he wasn't alone there. Serious Black. Serious Black, Black no. Other people are Bela, in the band. Bellatrix Lestrange was in there. I can't say that name. Yeah. Were they related? She uh, kills him. Spoiler, spoiler. That happened, though, in a couple movies back. I think they were cousins. So do you think? Cousin. Now, she was also a crazy, like, she's, to be fair, kind of crazy fucking bitch. Yeah, with bad teeth. Yes. Kind of, mm-hmm. kind of chick you could see. I'm not saying, like, this is what she wants to do in life, but you could see her being in, like, let's fuck, cousin. Do you think they had sex in Azkaban? Oh, she was dirty. Yeah, like I don't think they had sex in Azkaban because they were probably in different cells. Do you think as kids she was just like pull it out and put it in her mouth? Like, and shit this like is that. mine. That's yours. Like she was a put sexual aggressor slash predator because she had been molested or something like that. It's clearly, something's probably wrong. that's all. With Bellatrix <laughs> 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 Lestrange. <laughs> I mean, the, the name, name right there is just you're not you're not wishing a happy childhood on a kid where you're like your name is. Do we have to do this? We're the Lestranges. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have no choice. <laughs> Be proud <laughs> to be a Lestrange. Um, yeah, man. Uh, Azkaban, I guess, would be kind of like Spandau Prison, but he was by him. He wasn't by himself. No, there was a bunch of. Is that what all what the death too? Eaters. You've read the books, and again, spoiler, spoilers. You know how it all ends. Do in this massive, and and I'm gonna assume, and I know, I'm not even gonna assume. I know evil wins because no way this chick writes fucking how many books? Six, seven, seven. Seven books, and at the end, darkness wins. Yeah. She don't seem like she seems they like the real fuck Harry in the eye socket. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like, like we've whoa. triumphed, and as Har- Harry dies by inches, first they fuck his eyeballs back into his brain, um, and he so he's watching a fucking a dick takes his sight, is robbed of his yeah. sight. He's lost his wand. He can't. Dude's too big, too strong to fight him off. So they skull fuck his eyes. They skull fuck him blind. And then start taking pieces off of him, feeding him to each other and yeah. shit, and playing with his pack or taking pictures of his dick, you know. <laughs> little Harry. <laughs> right now, and I'm like, little wiener, take a picture, put it on the internet. The worst thing you could do to a wizard. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's not how it ends. No, so it ends well. Yeah. Do they, does, is every, Voldemort presumably destroyed ultimately? Yeah. Voldemort's posse, the the Lucius Malfoys of the world, the Belichicks, Belichicks, I'm sure she gets killed. Death, imprisonment. They all go back to Azkaban? I don't you I imagine? think Azkaban That's what was at. almost destroyed. Oh, really? So where is it? A new prison? Yeah. I mean, it doesn't, they, you know, they can, they're magic. Yeah, but these people are like death eaters. Sure, they'll keep, create a magical, better prison. I mean, maybe saying, they'll repair like, wouldn't Azkaban. Just, like, wouldn't you just... Why well, they not broke oblivion? out of Azkaban. Why, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's a horrible... Like, it's not secure. Wouldn't you obliviate sure them? Like, I'm, that's a worse punishment. Obliviate them and make them muggles. Like, that's what they hate the most. So they're like, obliviate, and then they make them go live as muggles and shit. Like, she, like Bellatrix Lestrange works at 7-Eleven now, <laughs> and she just doesn't know. And every once in a while, she gets an inkling. Like, somebody buys a lottery ticket and so, or something, and when she bring they bring it in to get scanned, and it's a winner. You know, they're like, well, it's like magic. And she's like, magic? What did you say? What Blood you sugar, say? baby. Sex magic. Get back to what? <laughs> huh? Oh, yeah, whatever. And she forgets. Yeah. That would be more, way more punishment, I think. I don't think that they sit there and list all the crimes and punishments. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a war council where they're like, Bellatrix is strange, found guilty in absentia, sentenced to 12 years in Azkaban. <laughs> and then, then, then now works at the 7-Eleven. <laughs> yeah, and a lifetime as a muggle. Um, I'm looking for that kind of complete satisfaction. That's why I would like to be friends with J.K. Rowling, because we could always just kind of like call her up and be like, "What happens to this what motherfucker?" To her? And she's like, "Oh well, nobody ever asked me that. Give me a second. And she puts the phone down. She's just like, a moment. Sips her tea and imagines, and then she's like, "Okay, what happens is this." And she just creates the story. And you're like, "That rocks. 
I bet you she would have answers. And it's a dirty version because she doesn't have to publish it for kids. So she's always throwing in curse words and like, and then they he ate a little bit of pussy, didn't they? And I'm like, <laughs> yeah, he did. Like, yeah, bitch, yeah, woo, pussy. Because, you know, she could be candid and shit. It'd be yeah. good to be friends with her, man. Not just for the money. That'd be cool, too. Because, you know, if you went out to lunch, she'd always pay. Yeah. But it'd be good. Or just if she didn't, you'd be like, hey. Yeah, hey, 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 hey. I bought the books. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, all I had was a BLT, all right? It's fucking 375. You owe me. Yeah, don't be a dick. Movies, books. Yeah, I, I, I think I would enjoy it. I'd rather enjoy knowing her. Yeah. Although she'd be irritated by the amount of fucking like, hey, man, what happens to this guy? Hey well, man, what happened to this? Like, sex life. Sex. Yeah. Sex. Yeah. Hey, man, what did they fuck? Hey, what about these two? Hey, the Weasley parents, did they fuck? She's like, well, of course They've they fuck. Kids. They have lots of children. I was like, oh, so they're not magic babies? How do, how do, how do wizards have babies? They fuck. They put wiener in a pussy and shit like that. Is it cums or cums or dirty cum? Yes, Kevin. Just assume that whatever it is that makes. Can, is there magic, is there magic, um, safe sex? That would be a question for me. What do you mean? Like, is there AIDS like in the wizarding wanna, world of No, Harry like Potter? if you don't want to have kids. Like, for me, like, I had, I got a vasectomy. Yeah, man. Aborticus. Aborticus. <laughs> yeah, well, that's but, not really safe sex. <laughs> well, it is, but it's like, for them, you know, for us, abortion is like, you go in, legs up, vacuum, whatever, fucking, you know, hard, the, the thing that a lot of people don't want to deal with. For them, aborticus is more about just like, uh, she's like, I've conceived, and he's like, not anymore, aborticus, and it just separates egg and sperm. sperm and they go about their separate ways and die happily normally the way they would not like you so know. the conservative right would have no problem with <laughs> yes <laughs> magic abortions yes yes magical abortions is not an abortion at all scott it just reverses the conception process gotcha um and lets things happen naturally because they don't care you never hear fucking these anti-abortionists going like save the period that ovum is sacred and that's the beginning of life yeah they accept the fact that sometimes a body expels an egg, un, un fucking, uh, unfertilized. And they accept the fact that not every fucking sperm's gonna make it. Billions and billions of sperms, only one's gonna make it through to fertilize an egg. And they're okay with those kind of, uh, not becoming human. It's just weird. They have weird lines where life begins for. Yeah, yeah. For people. And it's something we probably shouldn't get into on a fucking I know, we're just comedy podcast. Like, like, is the heartbeat of life, Scott? <laughs> Um, okay, man. So, uh, thumbs up on Harry Potter. I, I, I enjoyed it. Did you go see it in the theater? Yeah. Um, was it packed? Yeah. I saw it with my kid and she really liked it. And I was like, really? They just sat in the woods a lot. She's like, no, it was the best one. But she says that about every movie. I think that as a, as a teenager or somebody who's young, it's just like a lot of what might have been boring is uh, all this sort of relationship between like young people that but I love know. that shit, man. I'm a junkie I know, for you're teen a big goo. Yeah, you're I, all gooey. Yeah, totally. You're a big gooey like, I remember that. Oh, it's so special being Make young. Make our mixtape, Ron. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just got to put a few Cure songs on a tape for her, man. I'll tell you how. Tell her how you f- you feel. Robert Smith knows how to do it. Like, are you talking on the screen again? <laughs> they can't hear. <laughs> I thought they were wizards. So much for magic. Yeah. Oh, this is bullshit. This is like that Narnia play I saw. <laughs> Absolute bullshit. What the fuck does she do? Somebody. Yeah. It says Hermione's like the Susan of Harry Potter. She does nothing. Hermione's got a lot to do. Yeah, man. she's busy. The Susan I can't justify. <laughs> I mean, honestly, dude, I was done with the play and I was like, we got to rent the movie because I, I mean, I didn't want to read the book. <laughs> Come on. That seemed yeah, kind of yeah. long. But I was like, I want to see the movie because maybe... She does something. Yeah, maybe they give her something to do. I mean, in the in the in in the movie, like when they're fighting battles, like she has a bow and arrow, and she's fighting alongside everybody. Yeah, but not. But she doesn't have her own thing. Like Edmund is the betrayer, and then the hero, and Peter is the valiant fighter, and Lucy is the one that brings us there, our conduit to. There's Narnia. something I think in the movie. And Susan is just yeah, it's Susan. <laughs> <laughs> what does she do? Not Anyone much. Anyone know where Susan is? Susan, uh, I'm here. Sorry, just catching up. I had to go to the bathroom. I just take such a huge shit. <laughs> Susan, uh, Susan the shitter. <laughs> I thought I was the whore queen of Narnia. Not yet. <laughs> Handies don't make it a whore queen of nothing. <laughs> I could jerk myself off, Susan. <laughs> you can never commit to anything. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, man. Uh, it, it's, uh, I'd say <laughs> to answer the final, <laughs> to answer final answer the question that nobody posed <laughs> at the end of this podcast. Definitely Hollows one. <laughs> Lie of the Witch of the Wardrobe <laughs> zero. <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> All right, man. Um, uh, that's my guest for this week. I'm Kevin Smith. Scott Mosier. Have a week.